we're doing, Bill, to survive. But we're going to have to protect our family. Oh. That's my family. This is Gracie's family. And this is Louie's family. But what my friends don't know is down here, I have a secret trap door which goes down to here with a magic painting. And whatever I draw right here, like this, will come to life. Wait a second. Jamesy. And there it is. Uh, Jamesy, where did that tree just appear from? Uh, I must just grow what you're talking about. What you're talking about, Louie. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Guys, let's stop messing about. We have 15 minutes before the horde of zombies comes and tries to kill our family. Okay. Oh, all right, guys, for my base, I'm going to draw a castle because castles are super duper strong. And there we go. That's the start of my castle. Now, I have to make this even better. Guys, the reason why this is super duper OP is because I don't have to build anything. It makes things so much faster. Next, I'm going to draw in some windows. And then over here, I'm going to draw a magic door which will open and close with a flick of a lever. And then I'm going to draw a lava moat, which is going to go around the outside of my castle. All right, guys, this should be on the surface. It's magically appeared. Let's go take a look. And, oh, my goodness. Look at this castle. Guys, this is totally like what I drew. Wait a second. Look. Here's the door, here's the windows, here's the lava moat. This is exactly what I drew. Wait a second. What do these buttons do? Uh, nothing? What? Wait, that's crazy! You go out, you close it, and then when you're gonna come back, you press that, and it's open again! This is amazing! This is gonna protect my family so, so well! So I'm gonna add some stairs! And I can shoot through these windows, and to make them even more secure so that I can't get hit as easy, I'll add these slaps. That way I can shoot them through, but they can't shoot me back. Perfect! There we go! Look, let me get a bow and arrow. If I shoot them through here, boom, it's super duper easy. But when they're back here, look, they have to shoot through this tiny little sliver it's so hard. Although I did it because I'm an expert shooter. Anyway, I should probably add a way to get these towers as well. So I'm going to get some ladders. And I'll add that right in here on the corners. That way I can get up to the top of these towers if need be. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. And then one more thing I think I'm going to do is change out these buttons to be secret buttons because that way no one would know they're even there so i'm gonna replace those with diamond blocks boom boom awesome and now no one even knows how to do that i go in i'm good and then i went my way out i go boop perfect i think i'm totally gonna win this challenge because i have the power on my side you have power but i need to make sure to use some really strong blocks this obsidian is sure to keep them protected I'll keep them inside of here, but I also need to make sure they're not bored inside my base. Otherwise, what if they get bored and run out and die to the zombies? I'm gonna make a long, narrow house just like this. And then I'm gonna fill it up with toiletries, like stuff that they'll need in order to survive. I mean, how are they gonna live without a toilet? Oh, and toilet paper. How could I forget? And then I'm gonna give them a Nintendo Switch like this. <laughs> One for each of them. And a TV at the very back. I think that's just about everything they need, but this is not enough defenses. There could be some smart zombies out there. So I've got to add in some extra defenses. And first comes these pink banners, because, well, I need to be able to know where they are. So if I get lost, I know that this pink house is going to be mine. Bro, no, I will never mistake this for anything else. Next, I'm going to put some lava around here, like a giant lava lava moat. This is going to be perfect, because none of the zombies will be able to pass this or else they'll burn to death. But I don't think that's enough defenses. I think it's time we put in a second ring like this. And no, this isn't just normal water. Look at this. When I go into survival mode and I step in, I start getting hurt because that is poisonous water, not real water. This is gonna trick all of the zombies into going inside of this water moat because they'll think it's normal. Little do they know, they're gonna die. <laughs> need a way to get over by myself, right? So, why don't we put a fake lava bucket right over here and some real water in front of that, right over here. You guys can't tell there's a little bit of a small difference that only a big brain will be able to notice. Look, this is real water, but if I go over here, it's fake! Uh, oh my Ooh. gosh! Like, if I go inside of here, but I walk a little bit to the left, oh my gosh, it's fake water! 
And now if I go in this one, I'm not gonna burn because it's fake uh, lava. Uh. So it actually gives me health resistance and regeneration. And that's how I'm gonna get across these moats without hurting myself. But I'm also gonna need a way for me to get up here so that I can reach my family. <laughs> I think it's time that we put some secret ladders. And I'm gonna put it right over here. As you guys can tell, it just looks like a bunch of dirt blocks, but I can actually climb up these like normal ladders. And that is totally OP. Now I'll be able to easily reach my family and see what they're up to. Uh, looks like you guys are just watching TV. It's not even on. Let me help you. Boom. Now it's on. Isn't that way better? Oh my gosh. Nobody's paying attention to me. What kind of trap should I do next? Did you guys say arrows? I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna place a bunch of these dispensers right here and fill them up with a bunch of arrows, but I need them to be strong. How about these spectral arrows? Mm, no, I don't think so. Wait a second, if it's a horde of zombies, I think I know what to do. But I'm not quite sure that this works. I'm gonna have to test it out on someone that I know. Uh, his name is gonna be Gerald! Yep, he's right here, and we're gonna test out to see if this dispenser actually hurts him, even though it's gonna have a bunch of arrows of instant health. Let's test this out. If I just use a button like this, get activated, and let's see, three, two, one, boom! Does that hurt him? Hmm, I think it does, but what about me? Let's put that button over here and shoot myself. It didn't hurt me at all. Look, I actually have health regeneration effects because of it. Oh, I'm dying to lava. I'm dying to lava. Heal me up. Heal me up. This is so effective, guys. All I have to do is shoot myself with this arrow. I think it instant health too. Where's the zombies? What are you I think this is a Talk what? to me. JT, what's up? I was building a dispenser that shoots instant health arrows. Wait, what? How does that work? I wasn't sure if they hurt zombies or not, but I doing my test with Gerald, it definitely hurts them. So... Oh, yeah, instant health does extra damage. It's, like, harming, but... Wait a second, where are your family? Don't tell me you locked them in the obsidian box. Uh, Jamesy, it's not as cruel as it seems. Look over... Jamesy, there's a secret trap door. You can't just break the obsidian. Get back up here. Okay, where do I go? Look, these are secret trap doors at the top, and you can just come oh. in like this. And but look, how do we get out? I had to make sure they weren't bored and stuff. Uh, oh, getting out. I haven't really thought of that yet. I should probably put some ladders here, but I'm going to make sure that they're extra secure by making them camouflage like oh, this, Oh, crazy. Guys. I'm pooping. I'm pooping. Beamsy, I know you have explosive diarrhea right now, but you don't have to do it in front of my sister. Stop. Why close did your you eyes. tell the sister, viewers close that your eyes. supposed to know? I, they oh haven't even gosh. put any games on the... Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'll put on some Zelda for the Nintendo Switches. Wait, there we seriously? go. seriously? Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to love you. Wait. Don't flirt with my cousin, Jamesy. She's kind of pretty. Anyway, this base looks terrible, Grace. I'm gonna beat you 100%. What? Why? Your base doesn't look... Wait a second. Huh? Wait, how did that just happen? Where did they go? I have a secret entrance. You won't even be able to figure it out because you're dumb. Um, shouldn't I just jump over? Yeah, but how do you get inside? How do you get inside? I bet it's just somewhere around here. Like, maybe there's a secret... No, oh. no, no, no. You what found the lava. What is it, then? Gracie, it's so obvious, but I won't tell you because then you can get my face. But there we go. Look inside her. What? Wait, but they're out in the open. If anyone gets past that secret door, your family is done for. That's fine. I'm going to put a ton more security so they can never get inside. My base is going to be the most secure, and my family are going to win the prize. Oh, this is so cool. Wait, what? There's a prize? Oh, yeah, whoever wins, each of their family members gets a thousand dollars! Huh? Wait, my parents are gonna kill me if I don't get that money! Oh, I gotta go! Bye! Bye! Alright, guys, now that I've seen what Gracie's up to, I've got some ideas! So I'm gonna upgrade my painting to add all of that! I'm gonna draw two things. First things first, I wanna get some red. And I also want to get some dark gray. Gracie was right. My base is not secure enough. So I'm going to add some deadly lasers. They are going to surround my base around the outside. And then I'm also going to put some dispensers here, which shoot arrows at any enemies that come into contact. And there we go. That's going to make my base super duper OP. Let's have a look at what this looks like. Oh, my goodness. Wait, so they don't surround my whole base. Oh, and these dispensers, oh, they're not shooting it. Oh, my my painting didn't quite work. It's okay, guys. The painting is really good because it makes it really fast. But I'm still here to upgrade it. 
First things first, my lasers, they need to go more around the outside. I didn't draw this because I couldn't see it. We don't need to go around the, all the way around my base, but I definitely want to go a long way around. And then I'm going to upgrade them. So if I go into upgrades, these are all the upgrades I can give my lasers. There we go. So as you can see, it looks really cool. And it sets you on fire when you go it, And it pushes you up, which means they can't move away easily because they're being sucked up. Can you see I'm being pulled up? Perfect. These lasers are amazing. So I'm going to spread my base around with these new lasers, which are way, way better. Amazing. Okay. Now, I need to set up these arrows because they don't quite work right now. And there we go! It gets fired out! Perfect! So when a monster comes over here, then that means it will shoot out and kill any other monsters that are behind them! Perfect! My base is looking super duper OP with all these lasers and all these cool things. But you know what? Before I keep building, I think it's time I go have a look at Louis' base and see if I can get some inspiration. Don't forget, guys, we're doing this to protect our families. And whoever wins gets $1,000 per member protected. Uh, Louis? Hey, Tinty, how's it going? I want to see what you built. Give me a tour, please. All right, but it's not much right now. That's okay. So what is this? Is this some sort of well, cactus maze? Boing, no, ow, this ow, is just ow, to, uh, you know, ow, damage the mobs ow, as they ow. come through for the next traps. Are they going to be able to? Delete? Can they even go over this? It depends. We might have to try. We might have to check. I'm going to imagine that I'm a zombie and just walk all the way across. Here I go. Ow. Ow, what, ow, wait, what happens ow, if the ow, zombies ow, just place that a block like this? Boing. Oh, no. It all broke. Hmm. Well, that's a good point. I don't know if zombies can place down blocks, though, Jane. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? This is an invisible cobweb maze. As you can see, it's not there's very a bunch invisible. of glass trapdoors, and if they fall in, they go all the way down. It's gonna take years. Oh my Katie. goodness, Louis, this is gonna be so laggy. There's gonna be like a bazillion zombies slowly falling to their demise. We'll have to see how that goes. But anyways, once I get to this side and the zombies are stuck on the trap doors, yeah. I can activate the machine gun. Oh my goodness, that's OP. Is that machine gun? Pretty much. Okay, you're gonna run out of arrows in those fast. Pronto, I'll fill them up. Don't worry. Boom, boom, boom. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. There we go. Perfect. All right, Louis. But once I get here, where are your brothers and sisters? They're in the middle of this cage. But wait, how do, you, how do you get in? How do you get around oh, the back? Yep. As you can see, once I go in through the front door, I can get across, but the zombies will have to walk through here and get shot by these dispensers. But yeah, how do these work? Well, why don't I show you? Just follow me. So many dispensers being used, Louie. If you come over here and press this lever just very quickly, it activates my trap. Oh my goodness, all the fire charges are going off. What if they go through the bars and set your family on fire? Gracie said that too, but uh, I don't see it going through the bars. It's uh, pretty uh, safe. Okay, Louie, and then what's up here? You got a ton of armor? Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna need an armory. Yeah, uh, Gracie did too. But anyways, this is my firing range. I can get all of these bows in these chests, and then I can shoot from the top. This is like the last line of defense. That's pretty smart, Louie. Do you want to see what I built so far as well? Uh, okay, it looks pretty bad, Jamesy. What do you mean it looks bad? <laughs> How are you gonna get in, buddy? Look, so when you first get come close, you are just up on this trip wire, and you're gonna get shot with poison arrows. Mm, I guess that is pretty good. The zombies will have no chance against this. Okay, and how are you gonna get in, buddy? Go on, try and get in my base. Try. Uh, oh, try. Okay. Try. Uh, wait, wait. What? You found I lava. Get in. Yeah, do you even have to get in? Oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> wait. wait. It's a lever. Oh, I get it. Oh, he figured it out. Yeah, okay. It's a lever. Gracie has to figure that out, so don't tell her. And then in here, um, let me just close that. No problem. And then up here, we have a arrow range, but with little slits so that they can't even shoot us back. It's impossible. Hmm, I see, Jamesy. But is this all you've got? I mean, if the zombies manage to just walk across this bridge, they're already at your family. No, they won't be able to because I've got the arrows, the bridges. Also, I've got these lasers which push you up. They do tons of damage. Hmm, but Jamesy, what if you open the door and you forget to close it? Uh, okay, Louis, I'm gonna add more defenses, okay? I'm gonna add more defenses! Oh, why is everyone so negative? Okay. 
Oh my goodness, guys. Louis and Crazy think my base sucks. I'm gonna have to upgrade them and prove it wrong. First things first, I think this dirt is way too insecure. Someone could mine underneath. So I'm gonna give this all an upgrade. And there we go. I replaced all the grass blocks with netherite blocks, which if you guys didn't know, is one of the strongest blocks in the game. Like you cannot even mine it in survival mode. It's OP. Look, let me go in survival mode and try mining it. Dun, 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 dun. It's gonna take years, trust me. Absolutely years. Which is exactly what we want, but everyone was saying, what if the bridge is down and then they come through? That's true. I need to add some more security. More security is needed. Okay, definitely right here. So what should I do? I think I might add some villager traps. If you guys didn't know, nearly every single mob in the game is super addicted to killing villagers. Look, if I go like this and then this, Boom, ready three, two, one, the zombies are going for the villagers. Which is a little bit like how it works with our family. The zombies are going to try and get to our family. But if I can put down some villagers, that will distract the zombies. Look, the zombie is going for the villager and he doesn't even care about, you know, his actual goal, which is to get my family. The city's just going to pop down there. I mean, that's kind of useless. Anyway, so I think I should add some villager traps to distract the zombies. So let me go over here and then over here. I'm going to set this to air. And I'm going to expand down probably four and set this all to air. There we go. Outline like that. Perfect. Okay, that's amazing. First, I set this with never right blocks. And then I'm going to get these spikes like this. I was going to do lava, but I'm going to do spikes instead because spikes are way cooler because they actually do way more damage. In lava, it takes a few seconds to die. With spikes, the zombie will drop down and pretty much instantly die, if, especially if they drop from a higher height, you know? So let me fill up this pit with spikes. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. We want to hit 500,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the subs and comments and likes you guys have been leaving these videos. I appreciate it so much. And then I'm going to fill this pit up with spikes like this. Perfect. But guys, you may be wondering, but the zombies are just going to walk around. Well, that's when my villagers are going to come in. So I'm going to get some trap doors like this. And I'm going to surround this entire pit with trap doors. Close them all down. Because zombies don't know that these are closed down. They will try and stand them anyway. Which means they will fall in. So I'm going to go all the way around with these trap doors. Perfect. Look, let me get a zombie and I'll show you exactly how stupid they are. Ready? If I go like this and then I stand over here. He'll still run towards me. Ready? Oh, ah! That works perfectly, but to make it even better, I'll use a villager as bait because they once again don't know that they can't get to them. So I'll put a block right there, and then I'll put a villager. Boop. Perfect. And then I'll do another one right in the middle, like this. Boop. And then I'll do another one on the edge over here, too. And perfect. Let's put the villager in, and let's give this a try. So, boom, and some zombies, and let's see what happens. Ready? They're going to go towards the villagers and drop into the pit, which is perfect. This makes my base way, way, way more secure. Wow, Jamesy made a mistake there telling me that instant health arrows actually do bonus damage. Now I'm definitely going to use it so I can kill the zombies and win the prize. Let's bring this all up with redstone and put a bunch of buttons to activate them just like this. So silly for helping me. <laughs> These arrows are going to be the star of the show. Let's go see what Louie's up to. I bet it's nowhere near as good as mine. Wait, Crazy's here. What's Crazy here for? Uh, hey, Louie. What's your base looking like? Mm, well, it's looking more like a prison right now. But it'll look uh, better when I'm done. Louie, this is embarrassing. Why would you put your family in prison? <laughs> Oh, I knew your grandma was a thug. What? No, she's not. She's Just the most precious her. woman in the world. No, no, no. I don't really think so. Why do you have dispensers pointing at them? Are you sick? No, 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 no. This isn't pointing at them. This is for mobs that have to walk through this area. You know it's going to hurt them, right? Uh, Louie. Uh, well, we'll get to it when uh, it happens, <sighs> I guess. Why do I even bother? And wait, you have armor? Wait, that's a smart idea. Thanks. I'm going to take that. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, Nadia. Oh. And so now I have two ways to get onto my second floor, which is going to be the perfect place to put some armor. And boom. That looks amazing. Come on, guys. I'm not a selfish person. If I'm going to have armor, I'm going to make sure that my family has it too. Oh. Let's give them the armor, guys. In a second, Louis building all the way over there. I need to catch up with him. He's going to win the prize if I let him get ahead. Oh, crazy. Oh, what just happened? Why did this get short? Uh, sorry, Jamesy. You were in my uh, splash zone. What's up? 
up! Why have you got such a cringe name? Oh my goodness, it's Selita with lasers! What's wrong with your voice, James? Are you okay? No, my voice is fine! What are you talking about? Well, welcome to my base! What are you doing over here? Hey, stop looking at my, my pressure plates! Wait, what do these illusion pressure plates mean? Well, they look like slimes, not pressure plates, so they're meant to trick you. Oh, I mean, they're not very tricky. I mean, you can easily tell that they're pressure plates. But anyway, Gracie, oh. how are we supposed to get over this, this laser maze? Well, you have to do parkour so that you can jump over here, over here, over here, and all over without activating any of the lasers. Doesn't that seem a bit complicated? I'm struggling. Well, I just did it without activating a single one. So if I can do it, you definitely can, Jamesy. Yeah, that's true, because I'm better at Minecraft than you. Uh, excuse me? But Gracie, what's this little lake here? Can I swim underneath? Oh my uh, goodness, it's yeah. like an underground area. You know what? You should go into survival mode. I think you'll have an even better time swimming. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fake water, Jamesy. Just like you, Gracie. Fake. Uh, excuse me? And not okay. to mention, this is real lava over here. Wait, what's this this villager doing over here? Why have you got this going on? Well, I realized that the zombies can easily come from the side, so I actually have a contraption. Ah. All the zombies are gonna try walk over to the villager who's over here. Meanwhile, I'll wait for the timing and wait for the perfect moment to jump across right now! Boom, 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 boom! I got the across! They fall down onto these like redstone bits. They don't even fall down into the pit. What? Uh, uh, um, um... You should probably fix that. That seems dumb. Uh, okay, jeez, you're so mean. Yeah, I'll fix that in just a second. Are you sure that the zombies are going to run towards the villager when there's a hole there? They probably won't, right? Well, when there isn't a hole, like when this is covered up, they will. Okay, Look. let's give it a test with you. See? Uh, I already ah! tested it. <laughs> Leave you would doubt me. Let's try again. Ready? Three, two, one. He goes around. He's going for a route. Oh, he changed his mind. Oh, he oh, changed his mind. He's changed his Oh, um, yeah, he's not gonna make it. Yeah, he doesn't even want to go that way when there's a hole, so he's gonna go around instead. But no, 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 there's a laser's there. Exactly. I have defenses from every side, so I have nothing to be worried about. Crazy. What about on the other side, Gracie? Yeah, I haven't got to there yet. I'm so you don't have defenses on every side then? Well, I mean. It would be really difficult to get on this side anyway. Okay. You want to see what I've built so far? What is? That's a lot of netherite! Yeah, it's so that they can't mine underneath my base. Huh. Wait, yours is made of dirt? I can just mine underneath. But, Jamesy! Well, uh, that sh I should have probably thought about that. Well, what is this? How are we even supposed to get across? Well, no, 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 Gracie, yeah. don't touch it. That's no, 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 very deadly. Okay. Do not touch it. It's a code breaker. You just have to solve the code. Wait, how would I know what the code is? Uh, what's the password? Um, uh, oh, you didn't like, think I just one of those uh, wrong There yeah! we go! I can do it, but... Oh my goodness, the zombies are way too dumb. They'll never figure that out. That's a good idea. Ah, I'm burning! Careful, yeah. Yeah, if, so each one turns off one, but they're all different, so you have to figure out what they are. One's, it's on, off, on. There we go. Oh, I see. And you've done the same thing as me. You put a bunch of villagers here. Yeah, except mine's better because they fall into a pit like that. They're really bum, bum, bum. God, so, 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 there we go. He Wait. fell in. Oh, no, mine's is better because it actually disappears and tricks them. Um. Anyway, if they somehow get past that, we have my arrows. Wait a second. Are this dispensers going to shoot the villagers? Yeah, Jamesy. Looks like you didn't put a lot of thought into this. Good luck. And shooting them like he's dying. Look, yeah! I shot the other one as well! Okay, Easy. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Embarrassing. Um, it, it shouldn't hit him, though, because he's in the middle. Well, he's getting shot anyway, Jamesy. I guess the arrows don't fly very straight, huh? Yeah, it's almost as like your aim. No! Villager! Oh, my uh, God, Freddy's gone! No one uh, saw that, but now it should be able to hit him, right? Yeah, but I think everyone saw that, Jamesy. What? It went oh, over. my dispensers have aimbot! <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Now it can't get uh, him. He just got Wait, shot again! He just <laughs> How was that even Jamesy, possible? you're so bad at this. Even the Spencers are better than you. He just oh hit him through the wall. Yeah, That's good luck. Lock. That's the Okay, it shouldn't be possible, right? It should be possible. Uh, watch it hit him again. Uh, I guess you're fine then. Okay, it looks fun. Um, oh, this one's done over here. No comment. Oh, I can't believe I'm watching villagers die right now. I have to go back to my base. You're wasting my time. You're trying yeah, to trick me. We only have a few minutes left, by the way. Ah! All right, guys. There we go. The villagers should be fine now. They're not going to die. It should be fine. My base is looking so Aye. good. But you know what? I have tons more space over here. So I'm going to build 
Some more. Wait, let me set some mines off. Let me just blow them up. Will they work? Can I blow them up? I want to see if I can set them off. That way he's ruined his progress. Ah! Look, they're going off. Oh my goodness. Which means they aren't going to work. Which means he's wasted his time on building it. This is so funny. They're blowing up his mines. Uh, let me just put an army of villagers over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh GT was right. I do need to put some defenses over here, but I don't have a lot of time. What do I put on the back side? Wait a second. I think I've got a good idea. Let me do this. I'm just going to get a bunch of rails like this, which are going to transport them all the way down over here. I bet you guys are wondering, Gracie, why are you building a roller coaster right now? It's not the time. Well, just wait and see, guys. You have to trust the process. Here we go. Like this, like this. And boom. I think this should be good now. Now, all there's left to do is to put a villager over here to attract all of the zombies. And then we can put some mine carts over here, which are going to go up and down after I activate the redstone railways. Here we go. Let's put one right over here. Boom! It's going to go back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And any zombie is going to easily go after the villager like this. And then he's going to fall inside. But first, we have to put some trap doors over here like this. So that the zombies think they can walk over and get the villager. But still work in progress. Huh? Boom! It worked! And look! All the villagers are being attacked by these zombies, which are jumping in and killing him. At least they're falling into this area where the minecarts will pick them up. Just like this. Oh! Well, I do have to make it so that my villager can't be easily attacked by them anymore. Oh, my poor villager. I'm sorry. Now the zombie will totally be attracted to the villager and try to fall inside. They also put some fake lava inside over there so that the villager would never die because he's going to have constant regeneration when he's inside of that lava. I'm literally a genius. And now all of the zombies are getting picked up and dying inside of my mind cards. Ah, 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 ah. I knew that this would work. And just so I can kill them even more and make sure the zombies die while they're inside here, I'm going to give them a special guest that they're going to be so joy to meet. Their special guest is going to be this mutant snow golem. Uh, okay, wait. Let me give him a little bit more space, guys. Oops. All right, let's do that again. And I'll put him down right over here, over here, and over here. Now they have more than enough space, except for the ones that are in the corner over there. Guys, didn't know these guys hate zombies and they'll attack any zombie that they see. See? Boom, they're attacking him! Ah! Yeah, poor guy. Trust me, this is gonna be perfect. Now, when the zombies are on the mine guards, they're gonna keep getting attacked by those snow golems. Ha ha ha! And these snow golems actually give me another good idea. Why don't I put a bunch of snow golems out here on the outside? These guys are gonna help protect my base! With these snow golems, no zombies are definitely gonna make it past my base, because I'm way too strong with my little helpers. Crazy, what are all these snow globs coming over to my base doing? Uh, um, obviously, they're protecting us, and you should be happy that they're coming over. They're useful. Thing, look, they don't even attack zombies. Um, uh, are you lying, JT? Wait, wait a second. I thought they always did, but they don't they attack don't... humans. They yeah, just attack zombies. Yeah, exactly. Why else would I spawn them, JT? What's wrong with you? They don't attack wait. us. They're like iron golems, but way better. That's OP. What? No, my iron golems are stronger. I can assure you. Oh, really? You want to make them fight, Jamesy? Let's have a showdown. One of them are fighting. One of them is fighting. fighting. Oh, my God. Let's see who the winner is. Come on, uh, Snow Golem. Obviously, the Come Iron on. Golem is going to win. Obviously, the Iron Golem. Let's see. see? Uh, what? Look, but rematch, ready? Rematch okay, this okay, okay. one versus... This one. Fight! Oh my, oh my goodness. Gosh. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Stop come on. You got this. Come you got on. this. Okay, come that was badly. No. Yes. No. Right. That's he not even fair. Low. He must have been low. Let's go against this one, really. Fight! Boing, 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 oh boing. Ah, double shots. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, fine. James Z, your you iron lose. golems are definitely stronger. And they're better. You know why? You know why, Gracie? Why? Because they come out of this magic box. Look, ready? Three, two, Wait, one. Box? And magic well, box. What is going on? Are they just getting thrown up into the sky? Yeah, if you try and come over to the magic box, you can't because it's closed. Oh, it's uh, open for a second. Oh, oh it's closed let again. Me in. Let me in. 
<laughs> right now it's closed because it's busy making a magic iron golem. See, you can't go in there until the iron golem is made. Wait, that's so cool. I want to see how it's made. No, I'm going to block this off so that no one can see. <sighs> okay. And these stupid snow golems need to kill each other because they're in the way. They're not in the way, Jamesy. Stop making the... Jamesy! Oh my god! They gosh. need to get out of my room. A thing, I'm just saying hello. What do you wait, have wait in these chests? Wait, what are you taking from my chest? What are you taking? Nothing. Goodbye. What? Oh. Alright, guys. Louis doesn't know this, but I control clicked all these chests, which means I can combine them like oh. this. Which means that I have all the loot that he had oh. like that. <laughs> Louis, have you been trolling my base? Why did you put one of your snow golems inside of my minecart? What? No, 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 that wasn't me. I, I don't have snow golems like... Oh, wait, that I do. That is yours. Uh... Do you care to explain what this is doing over here? You can't tell me it walked all the way over here past the lava into my base. I didn't do that. I've been in my base this entire time. I don't know if I believe you. Look, it's definitely JC. He has mutant snow golems. He's trying to frame me. What? The mutant snow golems are mine. Why did they all go over to his side? Oh, uh, guys, did it turn nighttime for anyone else? And are you in survival mode? Yes, I'm in survival mode. Uh -oh. This isn't good. The monsters are attacking. Everyone put your armor on. Oh, no. oh. My goodness. Remember, guys, whoever can last the longest, everyone in their family gets a $1,000. I was a okay. on my base. Wait, Louis, oh, you had a resto bow, but you didn't have any stupid redstone. Are you stupid? What? You can't have a resto bow and arrow with no redstone. Yeah, they don't oh, shoot normal no. arrows, Louis. Okay, don't worry, guys. Uh, I got all my armor on. And uh, Jamesy and Louis, if you guys didn't know, my family is also wearing armor. And they have weapons. Wait, how did you do that? Uh, obviously, I just gave them armor. I'm not selfish like you guys. Uh, Jamesy, uh, I think that was just you who forgot to do that. Uh, Wait, Gracie, I, I did it too. I, I didn't what? forget. I didn't know we could do that. Jamesy, oh, you're oh, so terrible. My mom terrible. just said hello, Jamesy. Hi, mom. I can't believe you didn't give your family any armor. You're the worst son ever. Okay, I can see the enemies. I'm going to fire them through my little peaky hole. Guys, look at all those Pokeballs. Oh, no, they're capturing the iron golems, not the skeletons. All right, guys, I'm going to close uh, this off. I've closed the door to my houses. No, <laughs> no one can even get in. Ow, I've been poisoned myself. Ouch. Jamesy, look at what I've got. Pew, pew, pew. There's so many skeletons. I was going to hit by something. Louis, did you just shoot me? I'll shoot you back, buddy. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't know how to get past this laser thing. I didn't actually put like a way to get through if you're on the other side. Oh my, goodness, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll put some stairs right here. Oh, Zombie just fell in the pit. Are you stupid? Oh my goodness. Wait, well, I'm going to totally wrecking everyone who's spawning out here. And um, your snow ones are doing okay as well, I suppose, Gracie. Yeah, Jamesy, mines are doing the brute work. Uh, mines are Wait. obviously the best. Wait, are the mines not exploding? Why are they not exploding? Uh, my mines are kind of going crazy right now. Have you seen all the carnage over here? Uh, I don't know if they're blowing up. Are they blowing up? Oh, wait, yes! I guess you got bows and arrows. That's funny. Oh, my goodness. All the skeletons are getting stuck in my barrier maze. Ow, and they don't ow, know no, how to I get out. No, no, no. It's friendly fire. No, the iron golem is killing me. End the pearl. End the pearl. End the pearl. Ah! Wait, who destroyed my mine right next to me? <laughs> that was probably one of the mobs, Louie. Wait. Why did the skeletons go on top of my barrier maze? How did they do that? Oh, I need to go and kill them with my Thanos sword. Come on, uh, get Louis, into are you the okay? Pit. Are you get being killed by some? Wait, Louis, you trapped yourself. Boy, I didn't trap myself. I'm hiding in my own trap oh, so that no. I don't die. I'm Wait, there's spiders the falling over there, Louis. They're going over your walls. That's Wait, so big. What? They're ah, going to your base. Get them on me! Get them on me! Ah, oh, the spiders are over here! Uh, Louis, can they not just go over your wall over here into your base? Uh, maybe they can, JMZ. Oh, oh my Jay goodness. I know you have a uh, password, but maybe you don't know the password. Anymore. You don't know maybe. the password. Wait, wait, which one Do you is? don't know the password? Which one is it? Uh, there. Come on. Which one is it? Oh, your password's so hard to guess. Boom! You did it. You did it. You did it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, guys. It's kind of scary. Some zombies spawn right here. They can just walk around here and go to my base, but uh, as long as the doors are closed, it's fine. Jamesy, I'm coming over. You know what? I'm going to test you guys' bases. I don't want to just stay here all this time. Wait, huh? I mean, my base is just too good. Wait, Louie, wow, you're leaving your base uncovered. Ow, a spider from your base is killing me, Louie. Wait, what? What do you mean? Come on, Jamesy. Let's go into Louie's family and see what they're up to. I'm blowing up his mind. 
points right now. My bow is an arrows. Okay, I'm coming over this way. Coming oh, all right. I know exactly way. how to get into Jamesy's base. Uh, he showed me exactly how. Thank you very much. You know what? I might just leave the front door open. Don't I need some fresh do air. Don't do that. The zombies can just Jamesy! walk straight in. Good no. luck. I'm no, almost no, at Louis' no, base. No. Ow, I was going to hit with my own poison arrow. Are you serious right now? Wait, Gracie, are you in my base? I'm in your base, and I'm going to say hello to your grandmother. <laughs> Wait, no, don't say hi to my grandma. She I'm doesn't like girls. Over. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to turn on these arrows right here so Louis oh, runs out of arrows in his trap. Perfect. No, 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 no. I need to get into my base now. I need to get into my base now. I'm stuck. Oh, Louis. You're running out of arrows in your trap. Wait, oh what? Goodness. What do you mean? Look at all the uh, armor nothing. you gave them. That looks really cool. I wonder if they'll die to one hit from me. Oh my goodness, guys. What if these zombies eventually overran on my iron guns? I'm going to be screwed up. Really? I can't even attack them. That's how strong your family is. What? They're yep, unattackable. That's what? right. How They're you too that? strong for you. You made them like invincible. What is this? Are you doing magic or something? No, ah, no magic. I can They're set just... him on fire. What? Oh, get out of oh here! Oh my gosh, I'm getting out of here! Oh, no, please don't kill me! Oh, oh, these arrows! Louie, these arrows! How do I get out of here? How do Louis, I stop are you them? not going to turn the arrows off? Because, like, you nearly ran out of arrows, by the oh, way. Oh, Jamesy! You nearly ran out of arrows in your trap! Jamesy, get out of here! Oh, that's a damage! That's a damage! That's a damage! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! Okay, uh, Jamesy, Gracie. it's a poor mission. Huh? Bye-bye! Louie, no! I pushed you in, no! lol. Uh, this isn't good. Louis! I pushed you in, Louis. Would you like an ender pole? Wait, where do my ender poles go? They just disappear. Jamesy, help me! Jamesy, 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 this isn't good! What ender pole? Why does everyone want ender pearls off me, guys? I'm Calm stop. down! No, I don't want your ender pearl! I just want an ender pearl! No, an no, ender no, pearl? No, 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 oh, no, 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 Okay, okay. Whoa! I'm where are you? I'm over here, Jamesy! I'm, I'm like near the bottom! Help! I'm in the corner! Help, Where? Jay -Z. Where is she? Oh my goodness, Gracie! Are you okay? Get me out of Bruce! Get me out of Bruce! Get me out of Okay. Bruce. Don't Always worry, Jamesy. Let me help. There we go. Always there there we go. What are you doing? Oh, I landed inside your base, Jamesy! You! You! Okay. Oh my goodness, thank you for saving me, Jamesy. I promise I owe you one. Um, let me help you kill all the mobs on your side since you helped me so much. Oh my goodness, my arm go army is going hard! Yeah, guys, uh, let me help you uh, get rid of all the mobs on Jamesy's side, uh, including the iron golems as well. No, Louie, what are you there doing? Go. Oh, wait, that's the biggest betrayal I've ever heard of. You know what do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. Iron golems too! Ah, 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 ah. Goodbye, iron golems! All your minds are gone, Louie. They're all gone. It doesn't matter. My traps oh, are my strong goodness. enough anyway. There's so many vindicators over there. Wait, there's so many skeletons over here. I'm uh, going to die. Kill them. Where's my sword? Time for me to come on in. Go over here. Come on. Die to me, skeletons. Wait, I have to come through the secret entrance over here. And now I should be able to kill them. Easy peasy. Oh, come on. Wait, I'm getting blocked off by a wall. Wait a second. Here's the real way to go through. Right over here. Bye-bye, skeletons. Ah, 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 ah. Um, Louis, what are you doing in my base, buddy? Uh, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. I'm doing so nothing. No, Louis, so no. Louis, you're nearly out of mines. Uh, uh, well, you're almost out of my goal. Wait, I'm almost dead. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm have have in you my killed base. them? Oh, no. Which way do I go? I'll Which kill way? you too, Louis. No! You were in the way of one of my villagers ah! and they died. Oops, uh, let's uh, no, not worry my about villagers. that. Oh my goodness, why is this iron golem coming to kill me? Die! Oh, it's because. Wait a second, Louis. I killed all my villagers, and now all the iron golems are angry at me! Ooh, yep, that's it. what you get! Guys, I made it back into my face, and now I'm gonna run over this as soon as it turns back to dirt! Come on, come on! Oh, get away from me, you skeletons! Oh, Jamesy! Wait, Louis, where did all my iron golems go? You killed so many! Jamesy, watch out! <laughs> Look towards your base, by the way. Wait, my base. 
Are you ah. going? You're killing my eyeballs through my own defenses! Uh. And you can't shoot me because you're slow! Okay, oh, okay, you can hit me, you can hit me. You have five two, seconds to get out of my face before I slaughter you and your family. Ah. Oh my gosh, I fell into my own chair! I fell into my own chair! Get away from me! 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 You better okay. run, buddy! I can survive! I can survive! All I have to do is break a block like this. Come on, come on, break it, break it, break it, break it! And I jump up! Phew! Oh my gosh! Guys, I almost died to my own trap! That was Louis? so dangerous! Ah! What are you doing here? Get out! Get away from me! Leave! Oh I'm gonna run around your family! Left. I'm gonna run around your family! I'm using them as a shield! No, uh, <laughs> Leave immediately! All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'm on Harper Hunt. How long are you? How long are you? How long are you? How long are you? I'm on Harper Hunt. No, you're not. Are you actually on Harper Heart? I was, but I regenerated. How long are you now, Louis? I'm on Harper Hunt. Guys, I look like a porcupine. I used my last bullet for my gun. I need to go back to the charge. I'm leaving. Is your helmet broke? That's kind of funny. Anyway, guys, I'm going to Gracie's base. My base is super secure. Y'all are jealous. Guys, don't come towards my base. I'm getting some bullets. Right now, I ran out of bullets, so I have to go all the way back inside. Let's get some bullets over here. I need more bullets. My second gun. Thank goodness I had some backup. Phew. Oh my goodness. If it weren't for these golden apples, I would have died ages ago. Uh, Gracie, your base is really weak from the back. I mean, I could literally just walk in. Uh, That's what she said. What are you doing over here? Are you trying to get with my sister? Let me just tell you, she's underage. Underage? Oh, that never stopped Louis before. Hey. Louis. He's just joking. But no, wait, you're not allowed on my side. You need to go back. I'm going to break Gracie's defense in? in the back of my base. It's useless. <laughs> uh, uh, Louis uh, trying uh, to get uh. to my base right now, but little does he know there's only one secret way to get across, and he's never going to figure it out. What is this thing? How am I supposed to get in there? Louis, I broke her defenses. You can get in. Wait, what? All right. Jinky, where is it? Where is it, Why are you breaking my defenses? Uh, I don't know, Louis. I, I, I haven't figured it out. I was kind of lying. Wait, what are these Pokeballs? Why are they Wait, picking up my Iron Golems? Oh, 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 Racy, your Pokeballs are picking up my Iron Golems! I know, Jay-Z, that was all part of my strategy! Guys, is it just me or is my Iron Golem army slowly getting smaller and smaller? It's like they're being killed or something. Huh? How is that possible? Uh, Someone tell me. Definitely not me and I'm <gasps> killing them. Yeah. Who just hit me off? Ouch, 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 ouch. Who just hit me off? You know what? Gracie, I'm going to find a way into your base whether you like it or not. All right, I'm going to turn these lasers back on. Laser, laser, laser. Lasers Wait. are enabled. Gracie, I found a way in. So how do I get down to your cousin? Here we go. I've got some arrows oh, as well. Oh, I it thought she was single. Kill some of the skeletons. Got these because the skeletons dropped them. About your mom. Oh, uh, I think that was one huh? of the skeletons. Oh, okay, okay, You're not gonna okay. find your way into my base. There's no way. The hey, skeletons guys. can't find their way in. Uh, is, Lo is Gracie's cousin what available? What are you doing? Lo get out of here. What are you doing inside my base? That's kind of impressive. That's kind of cute on them. Oh, no. Why do you want to talk to my cousin? Hey, Louie, get away from my cousin cute. now. She's taken. And not to mention, she's way older than what? you. Wait a second. What's in this chest? I see a village of spawn egg. I don't even have the water. Get out of here. Get off my yeah, toilet. Get off my toilet. Right. Get out of here. Put this here. <laughs> oh, no. Jay-Z. Jay-Z, he's chasing. Oh, no. Uh, I, I just, uh, you know. You're going to break my redstone. Red you're going to break my redstone. <laughs> that redstone red looks pretty oh, good, if you stop. ask me. No, 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 no. There we go. Ha, 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 You barely got any of my redstone, but no way. It destroyed some of the redstone, so I don't have enough to connect it back together. You know oh, what? I'm just going to keep this fake lava. Thank you very much. Guys, who's winning right now? I think my base is the best. What? No, what? my no, base is obviously me. the best. Um, no, it's actually me. Mine's obviously the best. Uh, Jamesy, are you a deluder? Because you're No, wait, I'm gonna shoot you. Wait, you're behind my uh, barrier base. what? You're barrier base. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you. Get out of my base now. I'm stuck in the barrier maze. I'm stuck in the barrier maze. Oh, you guys are so silly. I'm gonna put you in a mob catcher device. Come I'm gonna end up over there. I wonder where that's gonna land. Pokemon. Hopefully on top of my house. And Louie, come over here. I've got oh. a gift for you. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was scary. Nope. nope. You I've can't get me. Gift. You can't get me. I've got a gift for you. Bye. Oh, oh. Come back up here. What are you doing? Get 
Oh, I don't want to be put in a Pokeball. I don't want to be put in a Pokeball. Oh, uh, I'm going to get Wait, let me. Don't move the back of my face. There's a long monster's ah! back. Ah! Oh, this is a good. This is a good. This is a good. I'm stuck behind my base. I'm taking damage. <laughs> Get shot. Um. Ow, ow, ow. These things are the shot. These things are the shot. Ah, I'm dead. Louie Gracie died. Now it's just me and you. And what do you say we make this interesting by turning PvP on? PvP? I didn't even get to try out my, like, mega machine. Uh, wait, turn on your mega machine. What does that even do? There we go. And then I click this. And then it shoots out potions of healing. And then I bring it all the way back. And then no, I click it again. No mobs are in your cactus maze because they can't go in the cactus maze. And they don't want to go in the cactus maze because it stinks of you. Oh, uh, shush. Can... You know what? He's I'm going to kill bridge. you. Might actually be overpowering my iron golems. I think they are. They're silly. <laughs> Oh, that hurt! That hurt! Did you just do that to me? Uh, no, I didn't do that. Why would I do that? Louis, <laughs> <laughs> it's me versus you. You bet. Look, open. I'm gonna shoot you. Uh, I'm not in the open, but uh, if you are in the open, oh, you're ow, done ow, for. Ow, 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 I always just died. I always just died. I'm on two hearts. I'm on two hearts. Oh my goodness. Nice I have you. two guns on me, and they are very strong. So I would uh -oh, watch out, uh -oh. James E. Uh -oh. <gasps> <gasps> You don't know where I am, do you, buddy boy? Uh, Jamesy, I literally saw you just end up into your own base. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't expect that! That hurts, that hurts, that hurts. That was close, that was close. Ah, stop, stop! Are you stuck, Louie? Are you stuck? Stop. You're Let's stuck go. with me! Get over there. Oh, ow, he's cold ow, ow, He's cold ow, He's cold I don't have anything to shoot for this glass. I wish I had an actual gun. <laughs> You can't get me! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, you know what? Don't go down the ladder, don't go down the ladder, I will shoot you! What if I don't need to go down the ladder and I get you out gorilla style? Oh, wait, is that lava? Louis, I wait for you to come out to your vulnerable areas. You know what? I have fake lava so I can regenerate health while I beat you up! Really, Louis? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, get me! Oh my goodness, I'm too hard! No! I'm stuck, I'm stuck! I'm dead! I just died as well, but that means I win! Today, we're building secure houses to protect our families! My family is here, Grace's family is there, and Louis' family is over here! Look how ugly his dad is! Hey! And at night time, a massive swarm of zombies is spawn in this cage and attack our families! Oh my gosh, I need to protect my mom right now! I'm building a house straight away! Okay, well, if Grace is gonna start, Louis, quickly stop before it turns night! Guys, I need to make sure that my family is the last one alive so that I can win this build challenge. And to start with, I need to build a secure cage for my family. So I'm going to build some iron bars here. Jamesy, what are you doing? Are you putting your entire family in a cage? Uh, what do you want them to go to? Like prison? I mean, it kind of is prison, Louis. But I need to protect them against the swarm of zombies. And I don't trust my little brother to stand still. Yeah, oh. he's going to try and confess to me again, Jamesy. Oh, he needs to stay away from you. Okay, there we go. This is looking amazing. I mean, how am I possibly going to lose if the zombies can't even get into my base? <laughs> uh, uh. I'm going to make this house comfortable for my family. I can't just have them, like, in a cage like Jamesy's. So I'm going to make them a nice little house to be in, in the middle here. There we go. My family are now trapped in this cage. But don't worry, guys. I will put a stone pressure plate right here so that if they need to, they can escape. See? Boom, boom. But now my family are always slightly secure. Let me replace the roof with iron bars as well. Because this is a super strong block. Wait, what is Gracie doing? I think that's pretty good. Gracie, how is this good? You put them in a dirt box. Hey, look, I wanted them to experience nature as well. Don't want them not touching grass. Uh, I guess they are touching grass. Guys, leave a comment down below if you think this is any good. I think it's terrible. Hey, it's still work in progress. Now all I need to do is just give them a sofa, you know, so they can sit down, and a little TV just so they can at least watch something while they're waiting for all the mobs to go away. Now I'm gonna add a little section over here. So there we go. I'll add a little corridor over here to my family. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a spike maze that comes out like this. So I'm gonna get some lasers and I'm gonna build myself a laser perimeter fence. And not only that, guys, but it's also gonna be able to turn on and off so that I can keep it secure. There we go. I've got the lasers in. I'll place the lever right there. And then I'm gonna do some redstone. And I so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do this command box right now, and I'll be back in one second. Oh, I've just got another good idea. If there's gonna be zombies coming around, then I'm gonna need to make a roller coaster that goes around my base. I know you guys are probably thinking, what is a roller coaster gonna do? Well, I'll show you. Let's have this zigzag all the way around like this. Like this. There we go. All done. Now we put a minecart on it and have it spin continuously forever and ever and ever around my base. And as you can see, every time a zombie even approaches this rail contraption like this, he's gonna get what? caught up in that minecart and go for a spin. And now no zombie will ever get past my roller coaster because they'll be too busy having fun. So at the moment they're off and then if I switch this, they turn on. But then if I switch it back off again, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. That was actually genius. Look at this. That was crazy. To make this even more OP, I'm going to get some of these upgrades. These are damage five tier upgrades. If I get a zombie right now and I turn this on, watch this. Boom. Insta dead. Insta dead. All right, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but the sun has risen a ton. We're going to keep building. We're oh, running no. out of time. It's almost going to be midday. Okay, let's get building. Now that I've done my laser security, I think it's time that I do my next trap. I call this an iron golem line of defense. So look, what we do is we build this out like this, all the way around like this. We now have like a halo around our base where anyone short enough can get through no problem. Like my family, they're all very short. And then I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And there we go. And I'm going to set up my next trap, which is going to be right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got buttons and levers everywhere to help me. And I'm going to set that to iron blocks and then set everything down here to lava. Boom! Now all I have to do is just make a little tightrope system. So it's going to start off really big at first like this. And it's going to go across and then it's going to turn into tiny, whiny iron bars. But now they're there, they're going to have to jump over this and then get to my family. Put them on repeat and then go like this. And then we cover it up. And my, for my next line of defense, if they flick this lever on, it will spawn an army of iron golems. And this is why I call this the iron golem war. Because once there's a million of them in here, it actually gets kind of hard to get through. I can barely get through. Let me through. No one's ever going to get to my family. Boom. Second floor created. Let's make the doorway start right here so we can go inside. Boom. Skibbity boom. And then quick, put some toilets down. Oh, no. Obviously, I'm going to need a giant window so I can be on the lookout for any zombies that come around. Perfect. But I need some more defenses to protect my family. I mean, they're the only family I've got. Maybe I can make something down here that shoots at them. Like some sort of dispenser shooting thing. But, hmm. What do I put in the dispensers? I can either put fire charges, maybe even potions. Wait a second. I've got a good idea. But I can put in potions of healing. I learned this from Jamesy because zombies are allergic to healing potions. Let me show you. Look, I'll put it underneath my house and I'll show you. Die, 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 die. See, it's strong against them. And not only that, this will heal me and my friends. So let me get a bunch of these dispensers and put it in a row like this. And then I'll put some redstone and line it across all of the dispensers. I'll put a button right over here so that it splashes out the potions. Boom! Whoa, that was actually kind of far. But here's the thing. I can only put in so many potions in each dispenser. I wish there was a way I could put in more. Wait, Jamesy would know how to solve this. And then in these corners, I will have it spawn in TNT. So I'll put a command block there and a command block there and boom and boom. But before I do that, it's time to put in the pools where they're going to land. I don't want it to blow up my base. So, so I'm going to do a little obsidian ring like that. And then I'll fill this up with water down here and like, no, my red down. Oh, whatever. There we go. My obsidian pool is now done. Wait, Gracie, what are you doing here? Hey, Jamesy. I need 
some help. Uh, of course you do. So I've got potions in the suspenser, right? But I can only put in like nine of them. I want to put in more. How do I do that? Have you thought about doing hoppers and chests? How do I? I, I don't know what that means. You've got the rest of it on the top. So we're going to need to put the hoppers in the back like this. Put hoppers feeding into them. So you don't want to put them on like that. And then simply on top, you want to put the chests. Really? And then I can fill the chest up with potions? Yeah, and then fill the chest up with potions. Okay, Gracie, I hope that helps. Thank you for your help, James. You're the best boyfriend ever. And there we go. The loop is now done. And now it's just time to do the TNT. Oh, yes. So anyone who tries to get my base is going to meet an explosive demise. If they go for the middle, though. Oh, ow. Okay. As you can see, that did a lot of damage, even to someone who's in the middle. And now all I have to do is just have it turn around and then connect up nicely like that. So it goes in a big loop. Now all I've got to do is just put a bunch of minecarts on and watch the magic. And just to make it a little better, I'm gonna put some fans facing this way. That'll blow all of these minecarts in the right direction. Guys, I just had such a funny idea. Look at this redstone fan. It isn't normally on because it needs to be activated by some sort of redstone. So if I put a pressure blade there, look, I get blown away. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, so I've got a good idea. As soon as people come in, they're probably gonna wanna get inside my house. So, what I'm gonna do is that as soon as they climb up my ladders, they're gonna step on these special plates and boom! They're gonna get blown to the wall by the redstone fans and they have to start all over again. Now, this is gonna be the fake way up. The real way up is gonna be to the side. So, once they get up the ladders, they need to climb up and do just a little bit of parkour. Don't worry, guys. Nothing too tricky. And then they can get in from here. Boom! And then right on the toilet where they belong. Up next, I've got the next most OP thing I can do. I'm gonna do a sentry turret. But we're gonna do a wall like this. We'll make it this wide, I think. This should be perfect. Now, the reason why we're putting a wall here is because I'm gonna put down some sentry turrets. But I don't want them to shoot the mobs going into Louis' side. I only want them to shoot my side. So I'm gonna put them in. Click them once so they attack hostile mobs only. Brilliant. Okay. Now that I've got these sentry turrets here, it's time to do some on the other side too. So no one can get through my base. Yes. <laughs> if I put in a zombie right here. They all stop firing. Look at them fire away. Oh my goodness. They do so much damage. Brilliant. That worked super duper well, but there must be a way for me to make this even better. You know what? I think I do have a way. I'm gonna add some walls like this. And then I'll do the same right here. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm turning this little passageway into more like a maze. So instead of just walking straight through, they've got to walk through here, get shot. Go this way, get shot. Go this way, get shot. I'm basically increasing the amount of errors that they get shot at. Okay, perfect. That's my next line of defense. All right, guys. So now all I have to do is just set a bunch of minecarts up like this. And hopefully the fan will blow them back. Come on. Yeah. So I can just set up a bunch of minecarts on my new minecart system. And it should work like a charm. Look at this. It's perfect. You know what? Let me go and check. Louis. Oh. Oh, hey, Jamesy. Uh, how are you taking a look at my base? Yeah, what is going on here? Well, this was supposed to be one of those minecart systems that pick up mobs, but uh, it's kind of malfunctioning a little bit. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, Wait, it seems to be working now. Oh, wait. No, never mind. It's uh, going the wrong way oh, again. I think it's because they get blown even if they're on the rail to the side of it, Louie. Oh, okay, fine. I'll get rid of these fans. There we go. That'll be fine. Stop messing around with it. They're gonna go through here. They're gonna have to go through these cobwebs at this. Does this work? Ow! Did I just get shot with something? Yep, those are healing potions, but not just regular ones. Lingering ones, so they take a lot of damage for longer. Oh my goodness, look, it did damage to the zombie. Look, and if I uh, activate it, the zombie oh just dies straight gosh. away. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's crazy. Oh wait, wait, what just happened? Well, this is my state-of-the-art security system. Nothing can walk in. I can't get in, Louie. I'm trying to get in. Yep, uh, how about you jump over? You know, zombies can't do that, oh. right? No way! That's super duper OP! Yep, so you can see my family uh, if you jump over the tripwire. But if a zombie tries to see them, they'll just uh, even get stuck in the wall or just get stuck. Well, Louis, um, there's a slight problem with your base. Uh, what is that, James? What if I'm a zombie and I just go... And I sneak in through the back like this. Wait, that's actually a good point! Oh, no, I need defenses from the back! Look what I did. I did a war and then I also extended my iron goblins on the back and my lasers. So there's still a lot of defenses around 
here. That's a good point. Okay, I'll do that. Um, guys. What, Quixie? I don't mean to flex, but I think my family's gonna be the safest since oh. I've got this weapon. What even is that weapon? Is that a balloon sword or something? It does 902 attack damage! What? 902 attack damage? What? And I'm not telling you guys what it is because obviously I'm gatekeeping. Only my family can get this protection. Crazy. Test it out on Iron Golem. Does a one hit kill an Iron Golem? Watch this, okay? Boom! Boom! No, no, boom, this is boom, not boom, fair. Boom, 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 boom. No, she didn't want to hit kill it. Stop it! That's insane. Sorry, Jamesy. I got a gatekeep. I got a girl boss, and I've got a gaslight. I'll see you later. What is she doing? Oh, you and your dirt shack. It probably won't even protect your family. I don't care. I'm going to keep doing my traps. Bye, guys. So, I think it's time for my OP arrow system. So, I'm going to keep expanding this up. Basically, this is going to rain havoc on all the enemies. And I'm going to fill this with healing arrows because I don't know if you guys know this, but healing arrows actually do more damage to zombies means they're normal arrows. And not only that, of course, they're gonna heal my iron golems and me. So it's really just a win, 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 win. I'm gonna have three layers of things because I want some of them to come down and like hit them here. And I want some of them to go all the way over there. And oh, okay, it just about makes it over here. I do want it to go into the water though. So I'm gonna keep going. I think what I can do is I like, use a combination of dispensers and emerald fans because these actually blow arrows as well. Let me see, does this work? I'll put a button on top, press this and oh yeah. You see how much that further that went? That went all the way over here. Okay, so this can be my max range when we're gonna hit anyone that's going this far. Amazing! And then that's gonna be the max layer. And then the next layer is gonna be down here. That's obviously not gonna go as far. And then I think I have a layer here, but with diamond fans. So it's kind of in the middle. So these should all go very different lengths. So this one up here goes like most of the time all the way to hits the wall. Brilliant. This one here is gonna go like into the water. Perfect. All right, perfect. I think this is my combination right here. Now I just need to hook up this section with redstone and now as you can see i have an army of snow golem so if a zombie spawns and gets stuck in the cobwebs he's just gonna get bombarded with snow Wah! and as you can see he can't even walk through he just keeps getting knocked back and stays in place and if there's multiple zombies all around they should be absolutely bombarded until they die at least as you guys can see if i put a bunch of mob capture devices inside of this dispenser and I shoot it out at zombies like this. A Pokemon ball is shot out and it captures a zombie inside. Look, the zombie's now inside of my Pokeball but I can release him like this. Look, I just caught two zombies. Then uh, the zombies will never get into my base because they'll be stuck inside these Pokemon balls. And I'll place a rest in there. And as you can see, this is pretty much all hooked up. And there we go. And then over here, we're just going to do a clock. A big old clock over here. Okay. I'm above Louis' land right now, but that is fine. There we go. And then I think we should do a button, but not sure where to place it. I guess I should place it in my land over here somewhere. So I'll just do it right here. And this will control that up there. Don't worry. So at the moment it's off, I flick this. No, it works. It's firing the healing arrows everywhere. So they're landing in nice and close here. And anyone who's sort of in this range here, like, oh, if I'm standing here, ah, I could get hit by these arrows easy peasy. And now, as you can see, a ton of the arrows are Coming all the way over here. Amazing! But now that I finished that trap, it's time for one more. As you can see, everyone else is using lava to defend their bases, and that's kind of smart. Why haven't I done that? So I'm gonna extend Gracie's lava to my base like this. Louis already got lava on his side, so I won't need to put mine. And there we go. But of course, I do need a way for me to get across. So I am gonna add some cobblestone slab bridges. Now, obviously, yes, the zombies can come across these, but the chances are they're just gonna walk into the lava because they're stupid. But there we go. Now, as you can see, Gracie's got some armor there, so I'm probably gonna wanna add some armor for myself. So I'll do it at the back here because I feel like this is where it's most safe. Back here, I'm gonna add some chests with some loot in there. Boom, 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 boom. I get some golden carrots like this. I even go a demon buster. I want a Glock as well. Ah, uh, there we go. Let me test this out. Yep. I can use this to shoot people. Let me see how much damage this does. Oh, uh, what are my iron golems? What are you at? Oh, wait. Three shots and he's dead. So this does like a ton of damage. What? And I can even use this to break people's builds. Look, if I shoot this fan right here. Boom, boom. Boom, bam, boom. 
It breaks it from afar. Oh my goodness, this is OP. I can prank people with this. I'll even put this in here then. Brilliant. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a platform that I can shoot the mobs from. So all I've got to do is get some super glue and stick together all of these blocks. Now down here, I just have to put a motor. And now all I have to do is just connect it on the bottom. And now, so when I press this button, it should send me up to space. So I'll just go all the way up here. And then I'll put a chest up here with some weapons inside. So let me just do that. I'm gonna put a bunch of arrows inside here and then a dragon bone bow. But now the issue is, uh, how do I get down? And I've already got that covered. I'm gonna put a bunch of slime blocks down here so I can just jump down. And then when I'm done going up there, I can just, you know, turn off the machine. And it pulls my elevator down. So I can just keep going up and down whenever I want. And shoot the monsters from here! Louis, how did you do that? What is this? Oh, just a bit of redstone magic. I made an elevator that I can shoot the mobs from. Whoa, that's super cool, Louis. I'm really jealous, but... Oh, look what I've got. I've got a machine gun thing that fires arrows across my entire base. Wait, seriously? I, I want to see it. Shoot it, shoot okay, it. Okay, I'm going to press this button right here and... And that should activate it. There we go, Louis. As you can see, it's shooting at the arrows. And they get spread out. I made sure to spread them out as much as possible. So we have some of them that land really close. Some of them land in the pool. And then some of them even land all the way back here. Oh, my God. Gosh, I've got to say, Jamesy, I think your family uh, might be kind of protected, but they're not living in luxury. They're in a cave. I don't care, bro. They can go to a hotel if they want to live in luxury. Jamesy, do you want to see what I've been working on over here? Yeah, is this some sort of snow golem? Yep, well, watch this. If the zombies try to get through, they oh go crazy. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, Louis, they're kind bro. of all dying over here. No, they don't die. They can't take any damage from snow. This just stops them from getting into my first defense. Oh, so they're not even dying. They're dying more to the sun than... Oh, so it just pushes them away. Yep. So as you see, if I spawn a bunch, they probably won't even be able to get through the cobwebs. That's genius. I'm gonna go back to my base now. I have an important thing to build. Okay. All right, now that I know Louis' base is super secure, I'm gonna add a secret tunnel to everyone's bases just in case mine goes badly. So over here, I'm gonna get a trap door like this. They're still inside the cage. I think that'll be better. So we have a trap door right there. And as you can see, that is my way out of here. So I add some ladders like this so i can go down and up no problem and then we're gonna make a tunnel this way towards gracie's base there's jamesy what are you doing uh, underground i can bro. see your name tag nothing i'm going the opposite way hey where are you going come back up here right now oh i'm just building an evacuation tunnel just in case really jamesy but look at where the sun is look it's almost about to set oh my goodness we don't have long left yeah you better hurry up it's gonna be evening really really soon okay go back to your base let me finish up what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I need to line up with Louis' parents. All right, they're just over here. And there we go. If I go up like this, I should land into their house. Let's have a look. And oh, I'm underneath a bed. Okay. There we go. Let me add a trap door right there. Oh, let me get down before I get spotted. So now I have a way to get to Louis' base. They won't even know. <laughs> okay, and then this way, we're going to go into Gracie's base as well. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's go up here. Oh, my goodness. Gracie's Bruh. sister fell down here. Um, You're probably safer down here than anywhere else, so that's fine. And then we do up here, and then we get finally another trap door. And boom, there we go. Okay, brilliant. Did I hear that he was building an evacuation? tunnel? Like an escape route. Hmm, I think I need something like that too. But instead of making it go underground like his, I'm gonna make mine go above the ground. Let's put a ladder right over here that leads to the top of my house. And then let's make an airway tunnel that goes from all the way over here to over here. But um, I can't just make them jump down from this high height. It's too dangerous. I've got another good idea. I'm gonna put a command block at the front over here that gives the closest person slow falling for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna put a pressure plate right over it so as soon as anyone steps on this escape route, they'll be given slow falling. And I can just fall down wherever I like without having to... If I ever want to escape, I can go all the way across to Jamesy's base or Louie's base and jump out without having to worry whether or not I'm gonna die. Boom. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy! What is this? Uh, this is an eyesore. Oh, uh, what do you mean? It's an escape route. And it also gives you slow falling, so you don't get hurt. Uh, you know, I can get rid of this if I want, because it's going over my base. But why would you? Your thing is under my base. You think I don't know that? Uh, wait, what thing? I don't know what you're on about. Uh-huh. Nice try, Jamesy. If you can do it, then I can do it, too. Okay, whatever! Ah! Guys, I'm in uh, survival mode and it's night so time am now! I. The sun it's the night time! Quickly, everyone, get some armor on! Get ready for the attack! Get ready oh for the attack! Goodness. Boom, 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 boom! I'm with super duper OP! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I forgot! The cobwebs are gonna slow me down too! Maybe I should have thought of this before I used it! Ah! I just fell for my own trap! That must mean it's good though, right? No, that's stupid! <laughs> Whatever, you're just jealous! You're me? Jealous of you? Why would I be jealous? I can literally come into your base whenever I want. Hey, what? Why? I have a Spider-Man web shooter. Wait a second, what? Well, you won't get my weapon that does 902 damage. Wait, why won't I? I put it in a secret chest so that where nobody else can grab it. So you I don't can't find it. I'm looking for, I can't find it. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Let me just say that one thing is not like the other. Okay, whatever. I don't have time for this. The mob's about to spawn any second now. Uh, guys, my eye got to the aggro. I thought there's some of the zombies. I see them! Wait, Gracie, the, oh my iron goodness. the zombies that are spawning at your base are walking towards mine to get Bro. my iron golems. Are you serious? Ah, it's because they can't reach me. Oh my goodness, it's time to use some of my traps on them. Die! Get Whoa. caught in my Pokeballs! Louis, there's loads of zombies going past your rails already. Look! I know, I'm trying to get rid of them with my cactuses. I'll shoot them as well. Don't worry. Boom. There we go. Guys, they're all getting killed by these instant Oh my goodness, the zombies are getting through my maze with the turrets. How are they doing that? What? Oh, but they got blown <laughs> up by the TNT. You guys have no chance of beating me. My traps are so good. I don't know, Gracie. I think the most zombies are outside your base. Wait, are oh. you pokeballing them? Yeah, I've got pokeballs and I'm catching them inside my pokeball. Uh, that's kind of smart. Gracie, all the zombies are walking over to my base. Yeah, it's because you got too many iron golems. What did you think was going to happen? You made a little pathway so they can get over there. Oh my goodness, I'm going to die. I'm actually going to die. This is not fair. Okay, I think I need to block off that pathway so they can't get over to my base from your side. It wasn't my intention, I promise. Maybe it was. Uh, wait, wait, they're all getting... Wait, are they huh? skipping the parkour? They're skipping all my parkour! Wait, Louis, that pusher thing, it's actually working. It's pushing them off the parkour into the cobweb. Look. Yeah, but they can still walk around the side. Oh. All right, I'm shooting them down, Louis. I'm helping you out here, boy. Come on! Wait, there's a ton of zombies behind our bases, guys! Yeah, maybe I leered them there. I'm sorry, Jamesy. I Help swear it wasn't a purpose. Help me clear them out, guys. Help me clear them out. Uh, I'm doing my best! Oh, my me. goodness! Come on, oh, guys. Jesus, are you keep, okay? I'm fine. Just keep killing them. Oh, my goodness. There's oh, I so am. Trust me. Gracie, your minecarts are working as well. They just sat in the minecarts. I'll shoot them out. I know. Isn't that so funny? Wait, you should come into my base, James. Let me show you all the cool things that I have. Is this the entrance? Wait, I want to come too. My base is trash. Uh, The zombies are trying to get over it, but they're all... Oh, my goodness. They're getting through. Watch out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get upstairs, guys. But don't fall for the trap. Go into the side ladder. Otherwise, you'll activate the redstone fan. Oh, okay. I see. I see. And also, don't step on the pink blocks. The pink blocks are ghost blocks. They're not real. Oh, just like my love for you. Um, Jamesy, I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Press the button over here, Jamesy. Over here. Let's see what happens. It creates a bunch of Pokeballs that what? catches the zombies. Wait, that's actually kind of OP. Look. They're being caught by the Pokeballs and now they're becoming Pokemon. It just picks them all. Yeah. How is that allowed? This is a Pokemon. Wait, what if one of them hits me? Do I just get pulled into a ball forever? Well, let's try it out. Louie, come here. Wait, I want to try it. I want to try it. Oh, Ow! it didn't work. Good luck, Louie. Oh, they're pushing me into the lava. They're pushing me into Louis, the lava. Louie, go into my turrets. Louie, go into my turrets. I'm going in. Go into my turrets. Are you okay in there, buddy? I'm in, but they're shooting me. Wait, the turrets are shooting you? Um... Oops. Goodness gracious, there's so many zombies walking into my base from yours, Gracie. Oops, oh, I just pushed you off. me down! Oh, Jamesy! You know what? I'm going into my base. Slingshot! There we go. Okay, now I'm going to activate my healing arrow barrage. Go, healing arrows! Go, go, go! Yes. I'm going in! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, Louis, there's an absolute army outside your base. Wait, Louis! serious? There's so many zombies near your base. Somebody help me, please. There's so many of them. I'm going 
go in to protect my family. Into my TNT. Lure them into my TNT. Oh, this you're way. right. Smart. Follow me, zombies. This way, this way, this way. Up through here, through this way. They're getting shot by the healing arrows. Look at this work so well. All right, guys. Come into the TNT. You're going to really enjoy bringing it here. Them it's like in. A bring bubble them bath. in. Like a bubble bath. Come on, kitty wings. It's a really explosive one. I'm going to die myself at this rate. Look, they're all dying to the explosions. Ah! Jamesy, I picked up one of your iron golems as a Pokemon. So now I can just go over here, as you can see. And I can put them down. I'm gonna take out this zombie army. I'm spreading out the iron golem so that he can attack the zombies as well. Oh my goodness, why is there so many? Limit, you're lucky that we're helping you out here, buddy. Yeah, your family would be gone for, let's be honest. Oh, no, they wouldn't. My infinity sword is breaking the one that does 902 damage. This isn't good. Wait, did she just name the sword? It's called oh an infinity gosh. sword. No way, now you guys know it, but it's okay because it's too late. You can't go into creative mode anymore. You know what? I think this is the time of the game that I go into my base and hide because I'm getting scared now, guys. But, Jamesy, your family's gonna die anyway. What? They're not gonna die. My base is super secure. It's blowing everyone up. I mean, no one can get into my base. The lasers make it super OP. Well, Jamesy, I'm gonna get into the base and assassinate your family. Are you gonna try it? There's no way in. What? There's no way in? What kind of base is that? There is, but it's hidden. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna try to find my way in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <gasps> I see you can't Jay -Z. go in. You can't go in. I have to kill in. your family if I want to win. I'm sorry, but my family's going to be the last one standing. You aren't able to get in here. Oh, really? Watch me. Go! Ah! Wait. I survived! How did you die? not die? Jamesy's mom. Jamesy's dad. I'm sorry. I, I love your son, but I need to kill you guys. If you kill my family, I'll go and kill yours. Wait, what? But you can't. You'll be gone. You'll be dead because you lost. I'm sorry, Jamesy's brother. You caused too many problems. I'm catching you in this Pokeball. Wait, no. Let me leave him alone. No. What did you? You what? just killed my brother. You know what? <laughs> I'm going uh, to your base sorry, right now. Sorry, Daisy. I didn't mean to. Okay, let me put him down. Let me put him back. Let me put him back. Well, Louis, you see, I came in the fast way, so dead. Wait. No, no, no. no Louis why? has been eliminated. Oh, oh. Jamesy. It's me versus Gracie now, Louis. You're out. Oh, Jamesy, you're so mean. You killed my entire family. First of all, how did Jamesy even get into your base, Louis? It must have been a very unsafe base. He got in through the bottom. I watched him crawl through like a little worm. Jamesy, what are you doing? What are you aiming at, huh? Better not be aiming at my family. I'm defending your base? What are you doing? That's not okay. I'm going into my base right now. I'm going to capture more of these zombies with my mob capture device. Eh, eh, eh. My base is the most OP, and there's nothing you can do to change my mind, Gracie. It's not the most OP, actually. Not a single zombie has made it even through my base yet. They haven't even made it through my minecarts yet. No one has made it through my base either. My iron golem arm is too OP. You know what, guys? I'm fed up. I'm going to take matters into my own hands. I'm going to use my secret tunnel to my advantage. Go this way. Here's the sister. The sister is dead. Wait, Jamesy, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, 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 no! Get away from my family! What do you think? The sister is gone, Gracie. Wait, where's my sister? Where's my and sister? No! Get away! Get away! Get yes! away! No! I've got my them brother, all captured! I've got them. Oh my I've got God, everyone's families Daddy. captured. I've got everyone's families captured. You're terrible! You traitor, Jamesy! Sorry, Gracie. I can't believe you did this. But that means I win this family build to survive video. Oh, whatever. It's 30 minutes away from zombies are going to attack our family. And it's our job to protect them. Ow, Jamesy, you're going to just try to get back off. How about first we lock them in a cage to keep them protected? Yep. Yeah, there's no way. If they can't get out, then nothing could get in. Let's get some iron bars. And not only will it keep them in so they can't run away, but it'll also stop the zombies from getting to them. All right. I'm also going to put obsidian on the floor so they can't mine through or blow them up. Perfect, Louis, but there's still some dirt right there. Do you guys mind if I add a toilet right here? At least they can use the bathroom. Yeah, add a toilet and some education stuff, like add a bookshelf. I'm going to take the switch. Education. Place down these iron bars like this. Yep, let me help you finish the rest of that off. There we go. Boom. Guys, I feel like there's something wrong with this. Look how easy it is to break these iron bars. Mm, reinforced iron bars. 
Oh my goodness, they do exist. Look at which more secure they look. No competition there. No competition. All right, guys. This is only our first security system. But as you know, zombies and monsters are super smart. They can just go and then spit some acid on it or something to break through. Yeah, I mean, they could probably shoot arrows through these little cracks too. Exactly. So we need to work on our next security system. What should we build? Let's do like a, a wall or something. That'll do. Guys, I mean, look, there's a wall right here, but somebody could just easily mine through it. I mean, it's not a big deal. What's a wall that isn't easy to mine through? The one that will come back to life? I don't know. I, that's not a thing. We could do a, a regenerative wall. A what? All right, now that we've done that, I think we should do... Then we have to do another cobblestone wall right here, guys. A second wall, okay? Place this one in. Kind of don't see where this is going. Well, Louis, two walls are better than one. Are you stupid? That is true. But it's not going to regenerate. It's just going to have another wall behind it. Now that we've done those three walls over here, we need to fill this up right here with water, but just the top layer. This is where the regenerativeness comes through. Generativeness? Is that even a word? Yes, it is a word. Then we need to get lava. For this one, we need to go start the bottom and then fill the whole thing up, okay? Layer by layer. There we go! And then watch this, guys! The water is regenerating! What? I don't understand! Yeah, you don't need to understand. Basically, the water flows down and the lava flows down and they collide and they make cobblestone, which means even if someone breaks through here, they'll be met with a face full of lava. Then the wall in the middle will regenerate! Got it! Jamesy, I've got a quick question, though. What, Louie? Uh, how are we supposed to get inside to see Wait, our family? Yeah, you're right! I, I can't just not see my family. We don't need to stick, get inside, Louie. We don't need to get inside. It just has to be secure against the monsters, not us. Don't worry about it. And then we're gonna get some redstone stuff like this, and I'm gonna make a cool contraption. I'm gonna put down a dispenser and fill it with TNT. TNT! Boom, 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 boom. I'm a little concerned. And then we're gonna fill this up with lava. TNT launcher! Yes, sir! All right, there we go. I'm also gonna put down a command block right here, which will give the closest person resistance, which means that we won't die. Okay, good. I don't wanna die from fall damage. All right, let me see. I wanna test this. Send me! All right, Louie, let's give this a try. Let's <laughs> I'll make some adjustments. Uh, I'm back. That hurt a lot. Just try again! Ready? <laughs> Ow. Okay, guys, it's fine. This is all part of the iterative process. What? <gasps> He's using fans! Yeah, this will launch them on the way up. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be good. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough, Gracie. We don't want to launch them too far. In three, two, one, <laughs> go! It didn't work. I didn't even feel the fan. Wait, how do you feel? Everything is sore. I can feel my bones falling apart. All right, Louis, test five is ready for you, buddy. Hop on there. I've been working out for this moment. Here we go. Whoa! Uh, I landed in the same place again. One eternity later. All right, Louis, test six is ready. Off we go. This is the last one now. All right, guys. Here I go. Right, project into the base works, but guys, as you now can see, we do have a security issue. What about spiders and stuff? They can just fly over the wall. True, we need like a roof or something. I think we need a laser defense. Uh, Jamesy, why would you use lasers when you could use electric fences? We'll do both. Electric fences first. We'll do electric fences first. Louis, do you want to show us how electric fences work? Uh, I mean, I, I already showed you how the TNT works. How, how about you do it this time? Okay, guys, look what happens when you go to electric fence. Ow! Oh my goodness, electric fences do so much damage. Wait, crazy. why are you leaving a one block hole? It's like you're trying to ask the spiders to go underneath it. Well, I mean, there's fences. What we're going to do is we're going to go here like this. There we go. On these blocks, we're going to add lasers. And we're going to put in these lasers upgrades. Oh my gosh, Jamesy, how about we add push upgrades so they get pushed back off the wall? <gasps> oh my goodness, Lou, you're a genius. Make it powerful. Yeah, mode upgrade, mode upgrade, and also damage upgrade too. Damage upgrade too. Put all these together and we have... That looks so much better. We'll I put guess. one every other, which means spiders can't go up because they're too wide. Every other, every other. Oh, you're right, you're right, because they're too fat. Gentle lasers. There we go, guys. Look how perfect this looks. This looks so cool from above. It looks like a, a I don't know, like a computer chip. Oh, As you can see, I've made myself a little pool. Oh, yeah, it's like a hot 
Tom. Then we're going to go up 100 blocks. Look at me, Gracie. Yeah. I'm doing a breaststroke. 100 blocks, guys. What are you doing? I was we trying to swim and it was not working well. Oh, we're just enjoying the pool. Well, did I say you could enjoy the pool? Uh, I mean, you didn't say we couldn't. Yeah, you know what? In fact, I'm going to get a diving board. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to make the best trap ever you guys have ever seen. It's going to involve repeaters. It's going to involve Peter. It's going to involve Katniss. It's going to involve everyone cool. Um, Jamesy, I'm a little confused on what this is. Louis, why are you always confused what I'm building? Uh, I, just because, I don't know, it's a redstone device I've never seen before. Oh my goodness, you're next, you're meant to be the master of redstone. What happened, Louis? I fell off. All right, this will be easy. All right, let's have a look. Um, Let's see. Is this any better, guys? I want to land in the pool and then instantly blow up, okay? Okay, okay, let's wait, let's wait. Oh, oh. oh that was good. That was... that was good. Yep, this is a good trap. Let me put some zombies in here and you guys will see how well it will go. Wait, Ready? you're right. They just die instantly. Yep, they just instantly die, which means this corner is now protected. What about the other corners? We gotta put something else there as well. Yeah, I just wanna quickly check out, check out our family real quick. Are they good, doing good? Yeah, they seem to be doing good. I'm gonna add it in a flat screen TV though. And I'll add a bookshelf so they can do some reading. All right, Louis, now it's your turn to defend this corner. Oh, I've got a good idea. I'm going to go to this corner, and then I'm going to go all the way over here, just like you did. Wait. Oh, that's a long way, Louis. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just get a dispenser like this. Uh, yeah. And inside, I'm going to put a bunch of lingering potions of healing. Oh, Jamesy, I don't want to wait. I want to do mine now. I have a good idea. You mind if I go over and do it my right now? Jamesy, take a look at what I'm doing here. Boom! Wait, Louis, what is this? Lingering? Um, the problem with this is, Louis, they only have nine in each, so... Well, Jamesy, that's where my genius comes in. I'm gonna get some hoppers, like this. All right, Louis, while you do that, I'm gonna go talk to Gracie and see what she's doing. Hey, Jamesy, I'm making a giant pit! That's boring. How are you gonna make it good, though? I'm gonna make it so that they fall right into it by using villagers as bait! Oh my goodness, crazy, but isn't that mean of the villagers? What? We don't care about villagers. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, we're just trying to protect our family. Okay, let me go look back to Louie. Louie, how's the progress? Are you putting hoppers? Uh, it's coming along okay. Uh, okay, so how are these going to be activated, though? Well, you'll see in just a moment when I, uh, manage to figure out how it'll happen. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this chest up with lingering potions of healing. And as you guys know, if zombies come within the uh, boundaries of this potion, they will pretty much die. So what I'm going to do is fill a bunch of chests up like this, and then I'm going to copy them and move them all across like this and put them all the way around the outside. It's going to take me a while. So, uh, yeah. Perfect. And at the bottom, we're not going to just put any normal pit. We're going to put spikes down on the ground. This has to be extra deadly so that everything that falls into here dies. But if you guys didn't know, AI zombies are kind of forced to not walk into places where they know there are holes. So to get over this, instead, I'll put some trap doors like this to trick them into thinking that there's a block ahead of them. I'm going to get a zombie out like this. And then I'll place him right over here. He's going to chase after the zombie villager and... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, uh, no, he just pushed him down. There we go. See, I told you guys it would work. Now with more spikes added in, this will be perfect. Crazy, what is this? Uh, Jamesy, what's wrong? I'm adding some fans so that we can blow all the bobs into the pit. Oh, my goodness. They're all going to try and get the zombie, and then they're going to fall in here to the spikes. You mean the villager, right? Yeah, they're going to try to get the villager to fall in. Wait, why is the villager in lava, Gracie? Jamesy, that's called being smart. I used fake lava. That means he was always going to have regeneration. So even if there's skeletons, he won't die from being shot. Let me test this fairy. Oh, that can't be. Bum, 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 bum. Why are they not doing anything? Shoot him. Oh, my Wait a second. Goodness. Oh, they get blown in before they can even test it yeah, out. see? Well, that's just an extra security measure. Wait a second, Gracie. There's a problem, though. Skeletons on this side can't get in because the fan is blowing them away. Hmm. I'm going to have to come up with another measure. How about I put some fans over here? That won't work. That will just stop them from getting blown onto this side. How about you change it from emerald fans to <gasps> diamond fans? Oh, good point. It's because the emerald fans are too strong. They could reach all the way to the other side and cancel each other out. Yep, these diamond fans are plenty strong to knock them in. All right, this sounds perfect. Thank you so much, Jamesy, for your help. 
Oh, nothing for a beautiful girl such as yourself, Gracie. Uh, why are you speaking like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. See, and now I'm gonna get a boat and I'm gonna shoot this villager. Boom. He's fine. I shot him like three times already. Uh, um, Gracie, slow down, buddy. Slow down. Yeah, looks like he didn't have enough of regeneration to keep him alive for long enough. But I think I know the gist now. All right, Louis, how's it going? Whoa. Whoa, so when you step on a pressure plate, it spawns in like three, maybe, eggs, and that covers a huge area. And then if a zombie's there, they totally get killed. Gracie, what are you doing over here? I went the way it would take way too long, and I'm tired of being left out, so I started creating my own corner. Wait, you're not being left out? Why are you playing the victim? Well, I was thinking about creating a cobweb maze. Uh, will the mobs even be able to do that? Well, the thing is, it's not about them being able to do it. It's about them being slowed down in the cobwebs. Oh, exactly. Let's just fill up cobwebs. Who even cares if it's a maze? Exactly. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a villager at the very center. Then they're all attracted to it. All right, guys. Well, Gracie, while you're doing that, can I suggest another change? I want to start mass producing my factory and sentry towers. Wait, what? That would really help us a lot. So, look. I'm going to get some of these stone bricks right here. And I want to mass produce a certain tower. Basically, we're going to get one like this, guys, and then we're gonna copy them everywhere. Wait a minute. Is this yeah. Clash of Clans? Maybe? I've never played this Clash of Sands game you guys are talking about, so I don't know how they'd look like. No, it's not Clash of Sands, it's Clash of Craft. Whatever. I'm gonna build this using this vertical slab. What? Vertical slabs exist since when? Well, since we added a ton more cool blocks to the game, obviously. Alright, that should be tall enough, I think. Right, and I'll put some... Wait a second. We can't just put any normal ladders. The mobs can climb up them and use them against their own advantage. How about we use some bunk ladders instead? But with a twist, I can camouflage them for you guys. All right, guys, what do you think of this mass-producible sentry tower, by the way? Does it look good enough to be mass-produced? Uh, it looks a bit like a poop. You see, these towers will help protect us. Yes! Perfect! And you know, guys, know what? I just had another idea. What, did you, what idea do you have? I can upgrade my cardboard boys by putting so sand inside. That will totally slow them down. All right, while you've done that, I've had another idea, Gracie. I call this, it's raining anvils. <laughs> oh, no, not the falling anvils. All right, look, we're going to put a command block right here. Redstone It's going to come across this way on the cobblestone. Okay, Jamesy, but what were you saying about the anvils? Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't anvils. That's part of the trap, Louis. Add some ticks, add some ticks. Tick, tick, tick. Don't have ticks, though, guys. They are bad for you. All right, okay, you know what? I'll do this. I'll put some diamond fans. Everyone get different fans, okay? Everyone get different fans. Oh, I like fans. Emerald fan and gold fan. And we're going to all put different fans so that all the anvils go to different areas. Jamesy, Jamesy, it's me, Crazy Fan Girl. You said you wanted fans. I'm right here behind you. Turn around. Crazy, it still says your name. What are you talking about? You said you wanted fans. I got you a fan. Is that good enough? No, go away. Go away. I don't want you fan. Fine. And then we come over here with the fans again like this. I have to give it those lasers. They were in the way. They were in the way. They were in the way. And then finally, I'm going to go here, do this command, boom, boom, boom. Then over to here with this command, boom, boom, boom. Wait a second. I think I know what he's doing. He's going to drop the anvils onto the fans. Oh, there you go. It's raining anvils. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Your singing is really worse than these anvils. Please stop. Jamesy, you should become a gospel singer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Which anvils are going too far? Some of them seem to be going too far. These ones are going too far, so I'm going to put some fans over here no, to no, stop okay, them. No, no, this makes it too... We're making the system too complex. This can be fixed. Don't worry. Which ones are going too far? This one? Uh, this one. Uh, the mm -hmm. ones up here with the emeralds are too good, so replace them with, with these. There we go. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Look, look. Fixed. Uh, they're still going very far. Jamesy, just listen to what I said. Oh. All right, now we see the way to get rid of these anvils, which can be done really super duper simply. One eternity later. Oh, there we go, guys. It's raining anvils. Boom. Raining anvils. Yeah, look at it go. All right, guys. So this will help protect it because you know what happens. Everyone maybe at home may be wondering, but Jamesy, why are you giving them anvils? Anvils are good. Oh, I told you it worked. You Louis said they couldn't get hit by the cobwebs or couldn't get sick. Yeah, Louis, don't even speak to me. Gracie, it's only a matter of time before they get through the cobwebs and beat the villager up, though. No, that's that's why you have sentry turrets. Yeah, there is a sentry turret beating them at first, to be fair. Yeah, Louie. That's right. Shut your crack. All right, guys. Well, that's my trap over with. But, Gracie, now it's your turn to build one. Well, I already did. 
did too. I think it's time for Lily to go. Well, what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of dispensers like this, okay? And I'm gonna get a wireless machine to shoot the zombies from afar. Did somebody say baby? Oh no. We just had one. Oh, he's activating the traps. Wait, the mom's car is taking him home. Oh <laughs> my goodness. What a terrible mother. All right, um, Gracie, you build the next trap over here, please. I think I've got a good idea. I want a giant wall to push all these monsters away this way. Oh, that's easy. I've done that like millions of times. Um, This might take a yeah, minute. Yeah, and I want to push them into something really, really bad. A family reunion party. No, that's not bad. JC, this area is going to have your grandma's mom all written over it. And this is what she looks like. An Whoa! iron golem. Oh my goodness, Grandma, you're back from the dead. All right, Jamesy, I told you. This is Grandma's house in Roblox, and this is where the Pistons are going to push a giant wall towards all the zombies and push them into here. But we need some way to have these iron golems regenerate, because at the moment, they are just going to die. Yeah, I mean, they will kill the zombies, but eventually they'll get overpowered. What do we do? Louis working on the redstone right now. I've got an idea. We're going to make an iron golem factory, okay? A factory? Jamesy, this is in the 1900s. This is the 1900s. We've done automation. And now I need to do factory. All right, Gracie, come down here. Whoa, th this is a giant hole. Do we really need that much space? Yes, we're going to need a big factory. Trust me, this will be a big, complicated adult factory. Adults? Only adults are allowed? Only adults are allowed. Okay, so first things first, we need to have a way for once the iron golems are made to push them into the pit. And this will be the way. All right, perfect. Then we need a way to make the iron golem. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some command blocks, but these are going to be special command blocks, Gracie, because we're going to have them make an iron golem in the shape of an iron golem, like this. Turns out the factory isn't even big enough, Gracie. How wrong you were. What? It wasn't big enough? This, this has to be bigger than this? How is that even possible? Okay, this should be good, I think. I'm actually going to do it like this, and then I'm going to put a repeater right here. Peter! And then a redstone thing right here, and then that's going to come up here as well. And we're going to have the iron golem be made right here. What about the head? The, the head's gonna be next, Gracie. You need to do the head next. Okay. Okay. So this one here is gonna set this one to iron block. This one's gonna do the one above it to 58. All right, guys. I'm finished. Uh, what do you want? Wait, what is this? Uh, he's doing a factory, but show me how your thing works first. Well, as you can see, if any zombies get across here and decide they want to start breaking through the wall to our family or try and kill this villager, I could just press this button and it shoots them into the iron golems. Perfect. Oh my goodness, you're a genius! Well, what can I say? Um, I'm Louie. Well, with that being said, come down here, guys! Uh, to the start of my factory, look what happens when we turn this machine on. Boom! There we go. Ha 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 ha. Yes. And now we need to do the other side, which is gonna be the head. So the head needs to be next. So we'll do the head right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then we need to make sure it has a little bit of delay like that. Hey, Jamesy, boom. what if you want this to actually look like a factory? Why can't we just have the head spawn one block above and then push it down onto it with a piston? Oh, my goodness. Do it, Louis. Do it, do it, do it. All right, all right. I, Louis, I've got this, buddy. I've got this. I've got this. Look, and then we're going to we're gonna go this way now. We're going to go this way. And we're going to go boom, boom, double delay. In fact, no, we're going to go up. We're going to go up this way, Louis. We're going to go up this way. Uh, okay. Comment hashtag factory in the comments down below. Let's see this thing work. Ready, three, two, one, and boom. boom. And now we just need to put some fans underneath them. I want to change this up slightly because I don't want to make it come up into the hole. It needs to come up to the side of the hole so that, that they can go in. Like right here, two down. Um, indenting, you know what I mean? Indent. Oh, okay. Uh, like, um, pressing tab on the key. Uh-huh. Yeah, I totally know what you guys are talking about. This is a factory. What did you expect? It to be manual labor? No, I'm Elon Musk. We could just put, you know, a bunch of villagers over here and they could help us, right? No, the, the, the villagers aren't workers. They're our friends. You don't make your friends do work for you. That's rude. Now, Louis, um, can you do some work for me, please? What? Ah! Jamesy, I thought we were friends. All right, guys, my factory is nearly mass producing these cyber trucks. You guys ready? Three, two, one, and boom! Oh! Okay, wait, I think there's a little bit too much power on these. I I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, look, look, I'll do gold fan. Gold fan. Yeah, do gold fans. I think that'd be more appropriate boom, for this. Boom. Uh, I weirdly think that iron fans would be better. 
Boom! Okay, fine. We're two iron fans. You guys have made me so self-conscious about the speed my iron golems leave my factory. Oh, uh, there we go, guys. The iron golem factory is producing, but there should be already a cap on how many iron golems we're producing. Yeah, yeah. How do we stop this? I mean, we, we don't want to overproduce. That's like wasting so much material. Too many iron golems. Look, I've got a method, so we're going to kill them all first. What? Oh, we just made them all. What? We're going to get a command block, and we're going to put the command block right here, and a pressure plate. Jamesy, I don't know about you, but I don't think your villager holders work. I just moved the wall, and they all fell down, and then suffocated in the wall. Why would you get rid of them? No, the wall moves, and they go down. Look, Jamesy, there's no... Oh, my goodness. You have to put a trap door underneath. You have to put a trap door. All right, guys, I fixed it. So basically now, when the iron golems are overflowing, they will push themselves around. You see how, like, they're sort of pushing each other? And if they get pushed too far, they go over to here. And I'm going to just quickly change this stone pressure plate to a wooden one. And there we go. When they get pushed too far, they go onto this pressure plate, and then they die. Gibbsy, what if we end up falling down there and we die, though? Yeah, and Louis, it doesn't work on humans. Only iron golems. Uh, yeah, Jamesy, I know your trap doesn't work. You made it. Well, Louie, it's your turn to come up with an idea. What? I just came up with this entire sweeping system. This is like the best thing I've ever done. That's literally my idea. I told you to do it. You have to come up with oh, your own original one. Okay. Let me think. Anvils. Uh, this. I don't see anything here. Maybe I can build something here. I've got a better idea. And that has to use bomb capture devices. Have you guys seen these before? Uh, I have seen these before. But uh, what? How would we? even use them well if you throw them out of a dispenser they catch people so all, have... all right look this is what we need to do some fans are required gracie yeah let's put them above so that they make them go straight down okay but if they get too close it doesn't work so we need another trap underneath it hmm, maybe we should put some magma blocks on the floor uh, then they'll take some damage at least there we go i just put some magma blocks on the ground what do you think that's pretty good louis but will that do enough damage uh probably not uh, we might need another trap how about how do we do? I never live dispensers! Wait, but what are we gonna put in those dispensers? Eh, we just put some arrows. Okay, well, I'm gonna put some spikes along the ground as well. These are ice spikes, and you can also crush on them just like magma, so we won't have any trouble getting across. Guys, this might be a crazy idea. Well, help me set it up, and you'll find out soon. Put down the redstone right like this, and then we'll go up like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the room. All right, set it off. Set it off with the button or something. Jamesy, I don't know about you, but you might need a repeater or two. Watch this, and boom! Okay, look, look. If the zombies get this close, look what happens. Ready? Ready? Watch this. Ready? They get hit with levitation, and then we're going to hit it again, and boom! The lasers! They get hit with levitation into the lasers, and if that doesn't work, they will get hit by a Pokeball. Look. Perfect! Wait a second, guys. I think I have an idea. Well, uh, what's the idea? Here's the thing. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. If it does, it'll be the craziest thing you guys have ever seen. Really? Okay, so first things first, I need to set the scene. We need to go back to 1995 for the backstory of this one. Why are we going to the Battle of Hastings? I'm joking. Okay, it's a joke. Okay, as you can see, we've got a villager right there. First things first, guys, I want to test something, okay? Jamesy, are you blind? That's not a villager. That's a zombie. I'm going to get a stick called a mob army stick, okay? I'm going to click there, and then I'm going to click right there. I've made this into a little army box, and then I'm going to go like this. Boom. He's now been added to a team. Now if I go over here, and I make a little roof so they don't burn, or in fact, let me say it's a nighttime. If I put another zombie over here, I'm gonna rename this mob stick to Dream Team, okay? Because we're gonna make the Dream Team. Now, if I go into our base over here, yes, I slap this guy down. You see, he's trying to kill our family. Uh, yeah, I, I do see that. He's he, he's trying to eat my brother. He's trying to eat my brother. Get away! Well, if I go like this, this is now a team. And if I add him to it, this monster is now on our team. Oh, wait a second. And uh, it kind of seems like our family's getting a bit restless, Jamesy. They're, they're running around. Yeah, the family is also there. But now, he should be completely... He should be completely on our team now. He's completely good. Look, Louie, if I add in a, another zombie right here. He should attack it. Ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. Follow me over here. I've got an idea. Okay, Jamesy. Let me see it. You know how uh, zombies are usually enemies? Uh, yeah. I mean, they are always enemies, 
right? I'm gonna test that with a little bit of magic today, guys. So I'm gonna put down a zombie right here like this. And don't forget, guys, we're doing all of this to protect our family against the wave of zombies that are gonna be here soon. I'm gonna name this team Protectors. And then I'm gonna select this area right here. Okay, but what's that gonna do, Jamesy? That, that, that's doing nothing. This zombie's just chilling. Well, now this zombie is on our team. So if I put in another zombie right here, and look, they are attacking each other, guys. Woohoo! That's exactly what I mean. We can make zombies attack other zombies. And you know yeah. what's even better? So we it's can... like a mob battle to protect our family. Yes. And the best part is, guys, I can enchant this armor right here with protection four. And then I can give it to him. So he's a bob. Really? Yeah, watch this. Editor, and then I can edit his armor and give him full diamond armor. That's kind of crazy. There we go. All right, and I'm also going to get him. Yeah, I'm going to change his sword too. This sword is going to have sharpness five on it, guys. No, that sword is good enough. Trust me, we don't want them to be too powerful. And there we go. This zombie is now on our team, and I can just put down a ton of these zombies. Look, he's attacking. He's attacking, but he's getting attacked. And look at him go. It's fine. He can... He can attack them, Louis. He's going to kill them all. Jamesy, I don't know about you, but he's just getting beaten up now. He's not even fighting back. All right, guys. Now that we've got Bob over there, how about we do something else? Uh... Well, we have double agents. How about we try to cure some of them? Like, what if they're zombie villagers? That's a good point. Maybe we can throw some weakness potions and then run around with golden apples. All right, yeah. Let's do it! I'm thinking we can create a giant pit that we all blow them into. How about this corner right over here? Okay, okay. We just need a bunch of fans like this and a bunch of dispensers that drop a bunch of weakness potions on them. After that, we can just give them the golden apple! All right, Gracie, keep placing down these fans! Don't worry, I sure am, but probably don't want to make them too strong. Or, Jamesy, how are we going to get, get past the fans to give them, you know, the golden apples? We could actually fallen ourselves. Uh, simple. We just have some sort of mechanism. Uh, we can have a pathway over over here. Oh, looks good. Jeez, uh, are we doing parkour over? Yeah, because otherwise the zombies could do it. Duh. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. These diamond fans just missed the mark. Like, I, I could be right in this corner and they only blow me right here. Are you serious? Let's sprinkle in some ammo fans in between. Don't worry about it. You work on the weakness potion. I've done it. So, if we have some zombie villagers like this. They get sucked in. Boom, 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 boom. They get boomed right into the corner. Yep, and then we can get the weakness potions out. <laughs> boom. And then we just feed them all with the god apples. Why don't we just make it so that the weakness potions are automatic so we don't have to do it ourselves. All we have to do is have golden apples on us. Okay, show me how you're gonna do that, Gracie. Well, all we have to do is get some dispensers and put them right above them like this. Wait, how about we just put the dispensers underneath them with some pressure blades. That's a good idea. A few moments later. Three, two, one. Ba -ba 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 there we go. We have weakness everywhere. They've all got weakness. Give them the apples. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Perfect. What if it makes more zombies come over here? That's fine. The more the merrier. As long as they're away from our family. Yeah, and besides, if more zombies are attracted to you, that means more of them will get turned into, you know, normal. Okay. All right, guys. I think we have enough chests. But now we need to make an armor room for when the zombies attack. Okay. Wait, where are we going to put it? All right, guys. I think we have enough traps. I think it's time for an armor room. All right, but where are we going to put it? Maybe we should put it underneath. Mm, it's a bit hard to get to, Louis. Let's do it up here. Uh, my, my mom's in there. I don't want you guys around my parents. No offense. We can make it open the open. Make it nice and simple. We have to decide what loot we want, ladies. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Let me get my armor stand out. I'm so excited. I'm going to pick my favorite clothes. I'm going to get dragon steel armor because I'm a beast. Uh, I'm going to get something. only deserves oh, the better. best. Yeah, Jamesy, you look like a beast. Mr. Beast? He's rich. I'll take that. Wait a second. Why would I want dragon steel armor when I could have Iron Man armor? All right, Jamesy. I put all my weapons in this weaponry. Uh, what do you think? Take a look. Take a look. What do you think of it? What do you think? It looks pretty good, Louis. Let me let me do my stuff first, buddy. Or maybe I'll do the Hulk instead. Uh, Jamesy, you look kind of funny. Uh, are you okay? Ow! Ow! 
I have saturation force. I never have to eat. I have regeneration force. No, hit me with a sword, buddy. Uh, okay. Let me get a sword really quickly. All right, Jamesy. Here we go. Bow! Uh, it is zero damage. What? Zero? Yeah. I don't know about you, but when I hit you with that sword, uh, your dad and... No, wait. My dad and uh, Gracie's cousin started burning. Oh, it's fine. There's just nothing a bit of second degree burns. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Mom! Better get over it, Louie. Don't worry. Well, I mean, we are protecting them, so I guess they will. Wait, Gracie, why is all your stuff in a pass when we take the chest? I can't get access to it. Uh, well, obviously, because I don't want you guys to see. Ha ha ha. Oh, there we go. Are you guys ready? The monster's going to be here any second now. We have to be prepared. All righty. I've got the gauntlet. And that's all I need. All right. Let me get my weapons back on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm ready. Oh, I'm going to look so pretty. Wait a second, guys. Do you hear that noise? I think so. The traps are being activated. Look at the fire over there. Everyone, quickly put your armor on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I see them. I see them. Oh, my goodness. The battle starts. Franklin Brutes. There's a focus. Oh, my goodness. The TNT is going ham. Wait, guys. Our sensor turrets, our mass producible sensor turrets are doing so good. Jamesy, look. Our army. Our army just killed a bunch of skeletons. A bunch of skeletons just killed each other. Wait. Sweep them away. <laughs> Oh, wait. Look at the anvils. Look at the anvils. Anvils. Uh-oh. Uh, look at the anvils. Oh, they're hitting the anvils. Come on, anvils. You got Go this. Go, anvils. Boing. Ah, got him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But a lot of them does get, do get past. But that's fine. A lot of them are going into the spike trap. They just fall right inside. Jay-Z, why did my sweeper machine just break? Wait, you broke your sweeper machine? Are you stupid? How did it break? What happened? Oh, no. No, no, no. This is bad, bad. They must have malfunctioned something. Oh, don't worry, guys. The Iron Golem factory is doing good. Oh, my gosh. Something must have broken it. No. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of monsters. Oh, the animals aren't quite holding up. Wait a second. Over here. <laughs> That's a force field, Jamesy. Look. Don't go near that. You're going to get hit. Wait, guys. I'm going to take a look at the uh, the regenerating wall. Make sure it's intact. Wait. Some monsters are inside. No. This is I don't know, but we must have swam in. They seem to be water types. They seem to spawn in here. Kill them. Let's do this together. Oh, they're inside the middle of the base. Ah! There's still one more over here. Just one more. Boom. And boom. Boom. I killed the last one. Don't worry. I killed the last one, Gracie. Don't you worry. All right, Jamesy. Where are those mobs? I'm going to web shoot them. Let's go to the Iron Gorm factory. I'm taking a look. Okay, the Iron Gorm factory seems to be still mass producing Iron Gorms, as it should be. But there's a bunch of skeletons over here fighting each other. Our army's doing well, but not well enough. They're climbing up the factory towers. They're surrounding the turrets to destroy them. Uh, guys, I got my armor taken. They took my armor. Bob, I'm going to where Bob was. I fly over. I throw. Well, the anvils are working so well. No monsters are even over here. They've all been crushed by the anvils. Oh, well, maybe that's just because they ran away to other traps because this one was so boring. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to me that the, the piglins are focused on the, destroying the turrets. They don't like them very much. Yeah, they really hate the turrets. Ow. Ow. They're trying to get me up here. They're trying to shoot you in the air, Gracie. Oh, my goodness. If it weren't for these cosmic tentacles like that. Ah! Don't worry, guys. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, my goodness, Gracie. This might be the end. He's destroying all of our stuff. But he seems like... Wait a second. Jamesy, how did you get that power? You're so strong. You're like the Hulk. You're like Iron Man. I'm going to go for his toes. Get for his toes. Oh, my God. He's, he's hiding behind the sentry turrets. Look at him. He's a coward. Get off all this stuff, please. Come on, Gracie. We need to protect our family. Okay, you're right. Go for our regenerative wall. Gracie, in the front lines. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 this isn't good, this isn't good. I'm gonna get him. It's okay, he's in the lava. He can't break through the regenerative wall. Yeah. He can't break through the regenerative wall. He can't go through. Wait, he's going through. Don't let through. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a heart. No, get away from my family. He wants a ring. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Don't let him through. Don't let him through. Don't let him through. Oh my goodness, there's another water. Oh my goodness, he's breaking a hole through. Go the front line, Gracie, on the front line. Okay. Come to the middle where I am. Okay, okay, I'm staying in the middle. I'm scared. I'm gonna go in from the other side. Destroy I'm gonna have a sneak attack from behind. Boom, 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 whoa, sneak attack. Whoa. They haven't made it through the cage. Don't worry. Don't they have made it through the cage? Okay, okay. I'm watching the other side. You, you focus on your side. This is a good Jamesy. Oh my goodness. 
All defense is a big ruin. Oh, you're breaking the law, but this is bad, dude. What do we do? No, the regenerating wall it doesn't work anymore. I'm harder than bad, Gracie. You hold them back from the other side as well. They haven't broken through this side yet. Ah, they Never have. Mind, they they have. Have. Destroy them. Oh my goodness, where did this boss come from? If only Bob was still here, he could have helped us. I'm being overrun, a big overrun, a big overrun. We need to kill the big one, Gracie. We need to kill the big one. Get away from where's me. Where's he? Where's Army. he? He's over Army there. attack. Get it, Gracie. No. Go for him. Go no. for him. No. Come on. <laughs> yes, he's yeah. dead. Protect us. Guys, I think all the monsters are dead. Today, we're doing build to survive, so we have to build the most secure house possible. So we can survive against a huge swarm of zombies like this. But, guys, on the last wave, there'll be a thousand times more zombies in this. But the first wave of monsters are going to be in five minutes, so let's get building. Come on! But what Louie and Gracie don't know is that I'm going to be cheating using slash slash paste. But if I put this paste in a build right here, I'm going to have to distract them. So let me see. And there we go. I'm now a police officer. Uh, 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 I can now distract them so I can paste in my build. Guys, Gracie, Louie, come out here immediately. It's the police. Who's that? What's going on? Louie, Louie, hands up, hands up. It's the police. Everyone, there's a tsunami coming. What? Su tsunami? Yep, uh, or hurricane, uh, whatever. You need to leave this area immediately. You can come back in a few minutes, but you can't leave until the safety is uh, all good. Okay, I don't want to die. Louie, let's get out of here. Oh, no, wait, where's Jamesy? Oh, my God, don't tell me he got taken by the tsunami. Ah, ah, ah. That went so well. Now I can paste in my entire build. Slash, slash, paste. Yes! It's like an absolute secure unit. There's no way they win. A few minutes later. Gracie, I've been watching the TV for like 30 minutes and they didn't even say anything about a weather warning. Oh, you know what? I reckon our time's up. We should start heading back and see if there's anything wrong. Okay, come on. I hope James is okay. Oh, hey guys, where have you been? I've been building this entire base. Jamesy, there was a weather warning. Some police officer came to us and told us to leave. Wait, so there wasn't a hurricane or a tsunami? Nope, but the first wave of zombies are going to be here any minute. So you guys better start building. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, hurry up. I'm totally ahead, guys. There's no way I can lose this build challenge. But now it's time for me to do my trap. So I think to start with, I'm going to do a lava moat around this because it's like a cylinder. So let me do that. And there we go. There's my lava moat around the outside. Perfect. And now I think I'm going to do another thing around the outside. I'm going to do a little cobweb moat as well. I mean, I kind of copied Gracie on this one. This will protect my base because now if a mob wants to get in, not only do they have to go through the cobwebs, they also have to get through a lava moat. And I mean, the zombies aren't that smart. Although, I do need a way for me to get over myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block here like this so that I can do some parkour. As you can see, totally possible. Um, yeah. What do you think, guys? Look at my cobweb house. Let me first make a roof like this out of cobwebs as well. My house is going to be the most stylish one around. And not to mention, since it's made out of cobwebs, I can see if there's any monsters coming to attack me. Let's make a door right over here like this. Boom. And then I'm going to make a back door here as well. And then it's time for me to start creating some defenses. And I'm going to do that with a dispenser. I'm going to be putting some fire charges inside like this. And now that all of these dispensers are full, I can put some pressure plates right in front of the door like this. Now, whenever I step on the door pressure plates to open the door, these dispensers start throwing out fire charges as well. Now I can enter my house and defend myself at the same time. Okay, guys, for my first try, I'm going to do a perimeter splash. If a monster gets inside my base, I will be able to eliminate them. So let me see. I'm going to get a command block right here. I'm going to try out a command that I've never tried before. Let me try. Oh, this command block here is very interesting. If I spawn a zombie, it should spawn a slime to combat it. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. Ah! 
kill the zombie! It works! Yay! <laughs> so basically what happened here is as soon as it sees a zombie in the area, it spawns in an army of slimes. But obviously we're going to change that from slimes to something else. Why are there so many slimes around here? Oh my goodness! They're going into my base! Okay, guys. So I'm going to really quickly start by adding a bunch of lava everywhere. Like this. And then I'm going to make it so that the inside hasn't got any lava at all. Okay, now I'll add a fence in. So that all of the mobs will just have to walk around my base. Now I'm going to make a machine that shoots arrows out so that I, uh, you know, don't take any damage from the mobs. So let me just put two of these inside. Around my Philium, I even created a water mode. And do you guys know why? It's because when these mobs are chasing me around, I can easily go onto my jet ski. And I'll put some hoppers into these machines like this. Then I'm going to pop some chests on top with some arrows inside. This basically just means that there's no way these dispensers will run out of arrows. And now I'll just do the same on the other side like this. And then just add some hoppers going up like that. So now this thing will never run out of arrows. And boom! Now I have to make some redstone that powers this machine though. So I'm gonna add two repeaters like this. And I'm gonna put two observers on these blocks like this. And now all I have to do is just create a machine that'll put them together and shoot arrows at a crazy speed. So I'll just put a red block here with a lever on top. And this should shoot them like crazy. First, let's drive back home. Second, let's create a chest where we're going to be leaving all of our valuable items. Like this right here. I'm going to put a dark matter gun with a bunch of bullets. Now we need to put some armor inside. And I'm thinking we could probably use some armor like this one. And lastly, let's get the matching sword that comes with the dragon steel armor, which is this one, the fire dragon steel sword. This might all seem a little bit complicated, but you know what? Let me just show you guys. So if I get out zombie and I split it right here, boom, they all go off. Look at them go. And now that he's dead, it stopped. Do you see how that works? Oh, it's so amazing. No, we're fully stacked. But I need an escape plan because what if they really do get through my cobwebs like Louis said? I can just easily go upstairs and this is where I'm going to have a lookout. And now we've got a tower to look out from. Like a lookout tower. And you know what the best thing about this is? Like if I accidentally fall, I'll fall into the cobwebs and I won't hurt myself. I'll just have to slowly go down like this. I'm scared that there's gonna be a lot of skeletons and they could totally shoot me off of here So, you know what? I'm gonna create a glass dome that way I can still see what's around me But the arrows won't be able to hit me and boom the entire dome has been created Now no arrows will be ever able to get to me once I get to the end I want to create a doorway right over here that I can jump onto This is where I'm gonna be able to make my escape onto my dune buggy if I can just walk out this far over here. Oh, Gracie! Come to my base! Wait, but what does it spawn? Don't tell me more slimes. And I want you to stand in my halo. I call this the halo system. Oh Ready? Gosh. Three, oh my gosh. two, oh my gosh. Ah! boom! Wait, what? You killed it so easily! Yep, so basically what this is, is there's a command block down there, which basically says if a zombie gets within this middle area here, it will set off all this redstone up here and all these things will activate. It's like a halo of damage. That's so OP. How did you do that? And now what I'm going to do is have some redstone fans like this and then put a couple levers on here so it activates these fans. What I'm then going to do is just fill this room full of spikes now. Now when I need to escape... I can run to Jamesy's base, climb this wall, and activate the fans so that any mobs that climb up get blown into these spikes. And now all I have to do is just connect this base together with some cool looking sections like this. A few minutes later. What do you guys think of this base? I think it's amazing. Comment down below what you think. I think it's time to add even more defenses into my base, like these fans. I'm gonna make it so that they're facing the mines So anybody who walks in front of these fans Are gonna be blown away And right into my mines Which are gonna be lined up right here at the back This is gonna be so perfect But I think I can do this on the back side as well I haven't got much protection for this area Let me start creating some fans that blow them this way And then I'm gonna get some fans That blow them up So what's gonna happen is that ah! As you can see, you'll get pushed into this wall and blown up like this. And then I'm going to create a fan over here that goes like this, which blows you outside of the arena. So 
So, if the mobs get blown out of the arena like this, then we don't need to worry about them at all. Oh, no. It's night time! And we're not in creative mode anymore. Okay, I've got to get armored up and get ready for the battle. Uh, guys, zombies are spawning. Louie, I'm going to your base. I need some armor. I need some armor. Ah, they're chasing after me. Don't worry, James. You get inside. Activate my arrow machine. They're getting exploded by my mom. My base is even more secure than this. Look, follow me to my base. Come on. All right, let's go. Oh, my gosh. These zombies are totally in my base right now. Okay, I need to go into my jet ski. Wait, what? My jet ski got destroyed. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, Jamesy, we got to be careful. Look at Gracie's base. Oh, the zombies are coming. Ah! Let's go to Gracie's base. Okay. Gracie, my halo system worked so well, but it's only got limited supply, so I'm saving it until a bad wave. Oh, wait, what are you guys doing in my house? I don't know. You're being overrun. We're here to help you. Uh, but Gracie, uh, what is going on here? Why are you so overrun? Why is your base made out of cobwebs? Well, I thought the cobwebs would be smart to stop them, but I guess it didn't really work. Wait, they're chasing after me, but I can just shoot them like this. Ah! Guys, lead them to my TNT pit. Lead them to my TNT pit. It's raining fire. It's totally working. Look at them. They're all dying to the TNT. Right, guys, this wave seems to be coming almost to a close. We just need to kill the rest of these zombies. JJ, why isn't your halo system working anymore? What do you mean it's not working? It works perfectly fine. Wait, guys, is it just me? But it's daytime and there's no more zombies left. Phew, that's a relief. As you know, the next wave will contain 10 times more zombies. So basically, I'm going to set all of this area on the floor to magma block. And now all I have to do is just fill this up with water. And that should launch me out of the water like this. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a fan system. And it'll just be a bunch of emerald fans. It should hold them at the perfect spot where they drown and they can't escape the water. So let me just do that all. All the way around and boom there we go so they're just gonna go in there and get trapped in the water in the current and there's no escape they'll just be stuck drowning and now what i'm gonna do is just add a bunch of trap doors over the top like this so that the mobs just walk in thinking it's real blocks and then if we want to get in we just press that walk through and then close it again and now all I'm gonna do is just cover up these fans so the mobs have absolutely no idea they're there. I think it's also time for me to create a third floor. And I'm gonna put it near the way I go up to Jamesy's base. So I can put these ladders on either side. And that way I'll be able to reach the third floor of my base. Jamesy and Louie both have really tall buildings, but I want to make sure mine's is way cooler than theirs. Let's quickly get that fixed now. Boom. Now mine's is way taller than either of theirs. I have to make this floor the most secure floor ever, so I'm going to put a bunch of cameras around and link them to my camera monitors so I can look through them and see what's going around. I'm going to put this really important camera monitor inside this chest right here. I'm going to need it if I want to see anybody. On this side, I'm going to have a bunch of arrows shoot down at anybody who's below. A few minutes later. Let's see that drop some anvil, shall we? Three, two, one, and uh... Oh, he missed! Oh, no! Okay, well, you're getting really redstone advanced, but let me show you my really simple zombie filtration system. Well, look at this, Jamesy, right? If you go in there, you drown, okay? But since the zombies are slower, they'll walk through and just die. Look! Gracie, what are these animal fans doing? These fans are basically so that you get blown out of the arena if you walk past. This is kind of just like a hurricane. I created my own loop. I learned from Louie. Yes, look at this. Now it just shoots over and over again in a continuous loop. But what if you wanted to make it faster? Um, well, then I would have to do this and make it shorter, right? Yes! Guys, there's so many zombies. Everyone get your traps ready. Don't worry, my traps are ready to go. Ah! Uh, wait, Louis, there's like a bazillion zombies outside your base. Oh. Guys, don't worry, I'm activating my TNT cannon. Everyone knows that that is the best trap on the universe. Yeah, I'm gonna activate my arrows. The zombies are getting past my trap. I guess I'll just jump into the cobwebs. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of monsters! Wait, my own my own cannon's kind of killing me, guys. Oh, I'm stuck in my own cobwebs! Wait, look at all my zombies being killed by the lasers! 
I knew this was gonna work. This is awesome! Don't worry, Jamesy. I'm shooting them for you, but... Ah! Um, I just got blown out of the arena! Jamesy, they're walking into your base! This is a good... It doesn't matter if they're my base. What are they gonna do? They just die instantly, lol. Wait, my hello system's getting low on ammo! Watch out! You gotta fill it back up! Wait, your laser cannon thing is totally working! I know! And it's doing so well. Wait, what is that? This is called the Galaxia, and it does 48 damage per hit. Uh, it doesn't seem very good. Look at this! I can literally watch up every single person! Don't worry, Jay-Z! I'm shooting them! Ah! I almost got hit by them! Jamesy, did you see how close that was? But I think my most OP trap by a gazillion miles is the TNT one. I mean, it's even better than the Halo, probably. I don't know about that. I'm gonna bring these guys into my mines now. Follow me into the mines! Look, he's gonna go into the... Wait, what? Huh? Do babies not activate mines? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. They're gonna die now! Wait a second, Gracie. What is that massive pink thing at the top of your base? Wait, that pink thing? Ah! <gasps> Wait, what are you talking about? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. You showed me around the entire base, but what is this? It's like a big surveillance system. Oh, exactly. Let me first get my camera monitor. It's on the third floor. But in order to even get there, you guys have to do parkour. Are you guys sure you're ready for that? Everybody, look. Oh, through camera one, I can see my own base. As you see, I'm looking down. Oh, James, you're in the camera. Oh, I think that's you. Oh, hello. Actually, I think Louis' base is the most secure. Guys, I think we should head to Louis' base. Let's just go through the bases. Come on. Whoa, wait. Is this your base, Louis? They have to go across the lava base in order to get through? That's pretty smart. Yep. It's, uh, you know, kind of smart. Jamesy, if you need any loot, Louis got a bunch of loot. That's so cool. This is just in case all of the mobs get up here. They'll just climb up and then get blown into the spike. Ah! Turn it off. Turn it off. Do you guys want me to die? The wave has been completed. Well done, guys. But if that was the second wave. The third wave, it's gonna be a thousand times more mob. We need to get our weapons ready and fast. The first thing I'm gonna do is upgrade my halo system because it is really failing me right now. First things first, I need more potions because these ones are just running out too soon. All right, guys, we managed to survive that round, but okay, let's be put everything inside of a chest. I don't know what happened, but my fire charge started malfunctioning and it didn't work like it was supposed to. Something must have gone wrong. Maybe it's the way I placed the buttons or... Huh? It stops right here because the redstone's missing! That's why it wasn't working! And you guys know what? I also want to make sure that these actually go lower down because they're going way too far away and there's no mobs over there. So let's put another set of fans over here. Boom! Now it's hitting the spikes! This is getting even better and better! Okay, guys, so now I've got to finish off this base. So I'm gonna get this area here and this area here, and I'm gonna make a wall. And now what I'm gonna do is set up a little staircase system so we can get up and see everything over here. So I'm gonna set up my perimeter like this. And there we go. I'm fo slowly filling all these up so we never run out of stuff. Perfect. There we go. Look, guys, it's hitting the laces just like how I wanted to do. Let's go. Now we know that it's totally working. What if I turn the water moat into fake water? Like this. That would upgrade it tremendously because fake water is toxic to all people and humans. Oh, there we go. Halo system completely refilled. Amazing. Next, I'm going to do is a second form of defense up here similar to this one. I just need to go down here and copy this command block, lol. There we go. Okay, so now with this here, if a zombie somehow gets up here, then we will spawn in an army of iron golems. Like an absolute ton of iron golems, as you could see. Next, I'm gonna upgrade the defenses at my door. Right now, anybody can get inside because it's normal pressure plates. But what if I do this? Okay, and now these are secret pressure plates. Basically, they look just like the normal block. However, they work the same as pressure plates. And once they step onto these, they're gonna open up like that. See? And look, they're very normal pressure plates. Let's test this out again. Boom, it works! I know, just like I intended. And here's the trick. These are secret player pressure plates, which means they shouldn't be activated by mobs like zombies. Let's see, if they step on there, boom. Look, the doors aren't opening. However, if I step on them, the doors should open right like that. Now, no mobs can get inside my house. And since I keep failing the parkour in my base, I'm actually gonna connect them with these iron bars like this. Why are there a bunch of iron golems in my base? Wait, they're coming from 
from Jamesy's side. Jamesy, why did you put iron golems here? I think my next upgrade is I'm going to upgrade my <laughs> anvil system. It's doing really great, but we can make it even greater. And let's give this a test. Let's try this one. And no, no, no. And, and uh, no, it's still not working. Why is it not working? Oh, great, Cece. I set up a second backup halo system. Wait, where? How? Huh? Basically, all it does is if a zombie somehow goes up this eleva elevator, it summons about 50 iron golems. Obviously, at this point, nothing like that can happen because there's so many iron golems here. Because I was really worried the zombies would follow me up. Nice work, Jamesy. So I just upgraded my anvil system, so I think it's ready to take on pretty much anything it we throw at it. Uh, boing! No matter how many zombies I put in this area, it will never be able to survive. Oh, uh, one just survived. Never mind. It's still pretty good, I think. I think it's time to spawn in a dog army. Let's spawn in a bunch of dogs, and I'm going to tame every single one of them until I have a ginormous dog army. Oh, my goodness. I tamed all of these dogs, and now I'm going to make them have babies. So I have an even bigger dog army. This is called Matt. I'm multiplying them, basically. Uh, this is a problem, guys. There's a mutant zombie! Wait, what? Where? Where? Oh, my goodness. System! Halo system, come on. Yes, it's working. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no, no, no. The mutant zombie's coming. It's coming to me. Careful, guys. I'm turning on my systems. Don't worry, guys. I'm bringing my dog army down. They're going to save everybody. Okay. Uh, Louie. A mutant zombie! Ow! It's on the roof! There's no defenses on the roof! Iron golems, get him! Ow, get him! Finish him off! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Yeah! My dogs are getting killed by your anvils, Jamie! Crush him with the anvils! Crush him with the anvils! He's getting crushed with... Look at him! He's getting squished! He's squishing up! We need to kill that mutant! That's the leader of the ball! Ah! Oh, wait, I'm actually getting out now. Oh, my goodness, guys. The anvils just don't stop because they won't stop spawning underneath the anvils. The zombie's so strong. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Get away from my base, zombies. No, I'm trying to keep them out of the entrance of my base. Ah, I'm getting shot by my own arrows. Your iron golems are in my base, Jamesy, and they just killed a bunch of zombies. Guys, this is the most OP wave yet. Come on. We need to defend ourselves against all these zombies. I know. This is crazy. Remember, if you die, you're out, buddy. If you die, you're out. I'm starting up my fire charges. They're going crazy. Wait, I died. I was saying my iron golem. Wait! Oh my goodness! Monsters are overrunning my top! Ah! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No! But wait! That means I won! Congratulations, Louie. You win the build survived. I can't believe cheating and pace didn't work! Wait, you cheated? Come on! Right. Today we're doing build to survive, but we can only use one color. Pink is the most girl boss cover ever. So I'm totally gonna win. No, red is the color of evil. So I'm totally gonna win. Oh, oh, oh it's just the color of lava. You guys have no chance. But anyway, guys, we have five minutes until the first wave of monsters come through these tunnels. So let's get building. <laughs> My build is gonna have tons and tons of lava. So I'm gonna fill this entire thing with lava. Wait, you can use lava? That's so un- Hey, Gracie, what blocks do you even have? I'm looking through your menu and I all you can use is pink beds, pink banners. I may have pink wool, but I also have reinforced pink wool. Oh my goodness, you're really clutching at straws, Gracie. No one has the defenses like I do with orange. Uh, Jamesy, lava is literally useless. I mean, I could use lasers. <laughs> What's better than lasers? Wait, he does have lasers, guys. That's kind of OP. Okay, fine. That's all you have. But whatever. I'm going to finish off my lava mo, and that should instantly make my base super secure. But now I have this lava mo. So it's time to start building the actual house because that's kind of what we need to build to survive. So I'm going to build some sort of orange theme house. Let me see what orange blocks I have. It's why don't I use magma blocks? In case you didn't know, if you stand on magma blocks, it burns you. Oh my goodness, I'm a genius. So I'm going to build the entire house out of magma. So let's get going. And there we go. I have my magma block circled. Oh yeah, that looks great. 
great! Okay, I'm gonna make a double layer though, because one layer is not enough, so I'm gonna put another one here. Okay, there we go. This is my house. It looks massive and cool. This magnet block is kind of hard to look like at, so I'm gonna make some changes to it to make this house look a little bit less um, nauseating. There's no cool orange blocks. Okay, I'll just replace some of this with orange wool then. There we go. I think that makes it look a little bit better. A little bit less scary almost. Oh, oh, I know. One more thing that I can do to it to make it look really orange and cool. I can put fire on it. <laughs> I'll cover it with... Uh-oh. It's all burning down. Okay, I turned off the fire spread. So now I should be able to put the orange wool back. Oh. If I put some TNT on reinforced pink wool, it doesn't... None of the reinforced pink blocks broke, but the normal pink wool did break. So that means I should use reinforced pink wool from now on. Not to mention I can even get some windows, which are actually reinforced pink stained glass. To make my house more secure than the rest, I'm going to make the inside like a maze. It's going to be really confusing which door actually leads to the room that I'll be living in. Look right here. If they take this wrong turn right over here, it's going to lead them to a dead end. And I'm going to create a giant pit that leads them to their death. Since I don't have a lot of cool traps like Jamesy and Louie, I need to use my brain. By making a really, 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 really deep pit, once they fall, they'll instantly die. And I don't even need anything at the bottom to kill them. Okay, guys, so I'm going to really make this work today. I'm going to have to make a little laser system. So I'm going to put a lever here. And since redstone is red, I can use it. So I'm going to put some lasers on this wall. And I'm going to build another wall coming off this corner here. This is going to be my laser gate. All I have to do now is just make it connect up and it should work like this. And, uh, wait a second. Only one of them is working. And now that I've done all of my wiring, I can just cover this all back up like this. And boom, this should work perfectly. The mobs aren't going to be able to see these lasers at all. And then when I run through because the mobs are coming, I can turn on this laser wall. But now I'm going to get some red stained glass and I'm going to go crazy along the outside like this. And let's get back to covering my base with fire. And there we go. Now I have the general outside of my base done and one trap. Now, let's go see what Louis built so far. Oh, no. It's Jamesy. What do you want? I want to see what you're building. Give me a tour. Oh, uh, well, there's not much to tour right now. I'm just starting on the inside, but I have got this pretty sweet laser wall. Oh, my goodness, Louis. You always do this. And the mobs always get through. Are you silly? I guarantee they won't this time. I've got some new ideas in store. Let me go see what Gracie's building. And what's really killing them is the heights, but it doesn't matter because my trap is still pink. Huh? Is that Jamesy at the top? Oh, Gracie! Why does your pink wool look so dirty? I told you I'm using reinforced pink wool, so watch what happens when I explode it! Gracie, get back! It's an explosion! Don't worry, look! It's totally fine! Whoa, is this even fair? What? How can you use it? Because it's reinforced and because it's pink! Sorry, Jamesy! Oh my goodness, anyway, you've got this cool looking house, but there's no traps in here! I mean, there's you see one over here, but... This is a dead end trap right over here! And if you fall down, you die! I don't even need a trap down there at the bottom! And then I'm gonna add a lever here! And it's going to power all of these lasers. Now I just need to connect it to the lever and we'll be all good. And there we go. As you can see, all of these lasers are going to make my base super secure. So as I walk in, I'll set that. And then I'll walk in and set these lasers too. So I'm going to quickly make a second floor like this. Soon the first wave of monsters are going to come and we need to be ready. The first wave? I still need to get all my loot. But I need to make sure that all my loot is also pink. So what is some pink armor that I can use? Wait a second, this one is so OP! I need to use this one. I also need a sword, and I think this lightning dragon bone sword will be perfect. Oh, but I wish I could get some of these apples. Unfortunately, they're not pink or purple, though. But I need some food that I can eat. Wait, what about this dragon fruit? And this nectarine. They're all pink. Oh, and this shrimp. Now I need to make my secret room that I was talking about. 
But it's gonna be really secret. I'm gonna put some ghost blocks in the middle of this wall that nobody will even notice because it's completely camouflaged in. You can't even tell that it's a fake block. Oh, let's try a fire dynamite. This should be a lot better. Come on. Oh, yes, that is the perfect amount of fire. Enough to kill the mobs, but not enough to burn everyone's houses down. So, I just need to do a trap now that's gonna work with these. Okay, all I've gotta use is a dispenser, and I think that should work. So, let me get some redstone. Okay, let me use this to make what I wanna do. So, it needs to be quite up high. I'm gonna put it all the way back here, like this. I'm gonna shoot it that way. Okay, there we go. Do a dispenser. Now, I've got all my blocks here, guys. And I just need a pink bed to top it all off. But, oh, this isn't good, guys. My house is kind of at the very back of everything. And if they really do make it through my house, I don't have an escape route. Maybe I can make a secret escape route that goes down and into his base. So now I'm going to put my weapons into this chest. And I'll also use this thing called an extendo grip. You'll see what it is in a second. And these crazy potato cannons. So I'm going to fill this chest up with potatoes too. I'm going to quickly show Jamesy this potato cannon. I think he's going to absolutely love it. Hey, Jamesy, do you want to see something cool? Uh, no, not really. We are busy. Look at this. It's shooting fire over there. Spoom! Wait, what? That's awesome. But uh, I can shoot potatoes. Hey, Louie, but does that even do any damage? Look, shoot it at me. I'm going to be in survival mode. Come on, shoot it at me. Okay, prepare to take a ton of damage. Ah! Oh, that actually does a lot. Stop, stop, stop. Oops, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, now I just need to make, make a, a massive delay on this so that it doesn't shoot out too much fire. Because, uh, you know, I want to make it manageable so that I don't run out of fire dynamites. What if we ran out? That'd be super duper bad. Oh, goodness, I'm getting worried now. The monsters can be here any minute. And, guys, the, every wave, the monsters get stronger and stronger. So that's what makes it even scarier. And I'll end up in Jamesy's face right here, right at his front door. Isn't that perfect? Now I just need to cover this up so that Jamesy doesn't realize I'm here. First, I'm going to use these secret trap doors. They're going to match the color of whatever block they're placed on. So since I put them on pink, they're just going to look like pink blocks. And uh, let's see if my fire gets spread around. Remember, the monsters are going to come out of that tunnel, so I will make that the best place. Boom! Boom! Oh, my goodness! Look at that! The fire gets spread around. Let's see it again. Ready? Three, two, one. And bow, bow! It's like a machine gun! Hey, guys, did you just get put into survival mode? Yes, I did! Oh, no, I'm scared! Yeah! That means that mobs spawn because they don't have any armor. I don't have any weapons! I have some good ones! Follow me, guys! We have to get to my base! Oh, fine. Through my door right here. It's a bit of a maze, but just follow me. Wait, I don't want to wear this. This is pink armor, Louie. This is disgusting. Oh, I don't want to put this on, but I have to. Finally, you guys accept that girl armor is pretty strong, too. Oh, no, the zombies are coming. Ladies and gentlemen. They, ah, this is furniture. Oh, I mean, it just fell down there. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go fight them all. Die, die, die. Ah. Fire! Fire! Oh my goodness, wait, I just jumped over to the other side, guys, of the villagers, and now they've all fallen down to their deaths! Jamesy, watch out! Your contraption is setting fire at my base! It's not setting fire on your base, it's just setting around the skeletons like they're spawning over here, and then they instantly put, put on fire. What could you ask more for? Careful, guys! Yeah, guys, you know how the first round is just some zombies and skeletons? Well, did you know every round there's gonna be 10 times more and 10 times more scary mobs? There might even be mutant zombies! I'm gonna be scared! Follow me in, everybody! Get in! Okay, let's get in Louis' base. I guess the fire is kind of overwhelming me. These mobs are gonna stand a chance against my laser wall! Oh, Louis! The lasers don't stop them from shooting us, though! Ow! Look, the skeleton went in! Haha! -ha. Oh, he's just sat there shooting me now! Louis, your trap sucks! I need to make these better! Die! Uh, guys, there's a lot of zombies following me! Uh, there's a lot of them following me! Get, get back! Come on, guys, this is just the first wave! Just eliminate them! Okay, I was doing my best! Wait, guys. I think they stopped spawning. I think this might be the end. Wait, really? Are there no more zombies? 
Oh my gosh, that first round was super tough. Oh, I'm kind of scared to see what comes next. All right, guys, the next wave is going to be 10 times more powerful. So let's spend the next few minutes making sure we're ready for it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so those skeletons just walked into my base. So I need to make something that's going to crush them. So over here, I'm going to make a door. First things first, there's a gun called Fire Fury. Oh, I definitely should be having this gun on me. Look, I can shoot them and it does tons of damage. Pew! I think it's time to expand my base to $3,000 max. Okay, first we need to make this nice little ceiling. And then we need to upgrade it to multiple floors. How about $10 billion? Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. Maybe like seven instead. Boom! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a look inside. I wish I could use these ladders, but I need to make them pink. How am I going to do that? If I use this bug ladder tool, I can easily make this out of pink wool like this. Quick, let me just place these pink balls. And I can also do the same with the ladders underneath my trap door. If I could just find it. Where is it? Where is it? Boom. Perfect. So I'm going to put these blocks here. And then if I press this, it's short. Uh, not work. Why is it not working? Okay, that's already a ton of upgrades to my base. Now, it's going to be a few seconds. Next, I'm going to get some lasers too. Because they seem to all be addicted to lasers. But, of course, mine have to have a few upgrades. Number one, they need to be changed to orange. And number two, they need to have fire. So I'm going to get some lasers right here. And then some lasers right here. And this is going to be like a machine gun of lasers. Now it's going to set the redstone. And now in this room, since these lasers are pretty terrible, I'm going to make some lasers that kill you instantly. So I'm going to put them there like that. I need to create another trap that will stop all these monsters from getting to me. So even if they've managed to get up these ladders, I'm going to get some lasers. So I know you guys are wondering, but Gracie, these lasers, they're red. Well, remember what I showed you guys earlier with the color upgrade? If I use this color upgrade and I put it inside of the laser, I can have the option to change it to whatever color I like. Simple dimple. And now if I've replaced all of these lasers, I can make all of them pink. Ah, there we go. That's much better. It's now like a machine gun. Now I get some orange glass. I put this over like what Louis did. I mean, I'm totally not copying him or anything. And then we cover this back up with the orange concrete. And yes, I need to do my next trap. So I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to get these dispensers. And I'm going to make them face down like this. And I'm going to fill them with these void scatter arrows. And I'll show you what they do in a second. And now all I've got to do is just cover this in red blocks. And now what should happen is the redstone repeaters will be joined up like this. And shoot out a bunch of arrows everywhere. So just so they don't look like they're not red, I'm going to cover them up with red blocks like this. So uh, James, he doesn't think I'm cheating. And when they come together, it's going to shoot out a bunch of redstone like that. And as you can see, these void arrows don't stay on the ground, but they shoot out a bunch of purple explosives. Oh, if I was a zombie, I would walk over here to the villagers and then get pushed in under these. In which then I can turn on my machine and it goes crazy. So now I'm going to get a dispenser over here. So I'm going to fill it with healing because that's going to heal us and hurt the zombies. And then I'll expand it along like this. And I'll do another row as well just to make sure we have enough. Ha ha ha. Okay, that is now all hooked up. Let's see this in action. And yes, it shot a ton of arrows. Let's see this again, shall we? It's coming this way. And... Here we go, look, some of them gone over here, some of them gone over here, and then some of them over here. They all spread out. Genius. Right here. Look what I built over here. It's a healing arrow station. Whoa, wait, what armor are you wearing? That looks cool. Yeah, this is my fire armor anyway. Look, look at these arrows. They're kind of pink. I thought you might like them. Wait, but you're not allowed to use pink, Jamesy. This isn't pink. It's kind of, it's a mix of red, orange, and pink anyway. Do you like the healing? I thought you'd like it. Yeah, it's good for us. But what about the mobs? Are they going to heal the mobs as well? Did you know that healing potions actually damage zombies? What? Oh, I didn't expect that. That is really cool. I wish I could do that as well. Maybe I can find some good healing stuff as well. And seeing what James did gave me a good idea. What if I could find some pink potions that could help me kill them? Let me get some splash potions of healing. Oh, and some bleeding potions. Those look like they'd work well. Now, all I need 
to do is get some dispensers like this. And then I can dispense a bunch of potions all over those mobs. Uh, Gracie, do you know that this is a potion of healing, right? Louie, how did you not know? Jamesy told me that if you use healing potions on mobs, they actually take damage. Wait, seriously? Oh, I should have done that the whole time because they're red potions. Guys, 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 look. I put the red stuff down and once I hit it, a bunch of potions go splashing out. But it's hitting more of the wall than the ground. Hello? Wait, huh? Guys, did you just get put in survival mode? I'm in survival again. Come into mine. Come into my base. Ow, come into my base. Okay, I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Gracie, behind you, zombie. Ah, don't worry. Take this and this and this. Louie, are you throwing potatoes? What are you doing? I'm throwing potatoes with my potato launcher. Guys, help me. I'm in my healing trap. I'm going to die. Don't worry, Jamesy. I'm shooting potatoes. Ah, the potatoes are hurting me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I think I'm actually out of bullets. Darn it. I have zero now. Looks like I have to use my sword. Guys, do you see my trap by any chance? Holding all of these villages inside. Uh, yeah! Oh, no. They're coming over to my side. Quick. I need to get past the lasers without them catching me. Oh, my goodness. There's so many monsters. It's only the second wave. Oh, my goodness, Jamesy. You've been webbed. Guys, this is kind of weird. Uh, the zombies and the skeletons don't seem to want to chase me down. Look, I, I think I'm stinky or something. Looks like the spiders want you, though. Help! I'm taking damage! Wait, guys, I think all the mobs are gone. Yeah! Oh, finally. I was in survival for so long. It was so scary. Guys, look at the top of my roof. There's so many spiders up here. So come on, come on. We need to get the most OP traps ever built right now immediately. All right, guys. As you can tell from the last round, we had an issue. And that was because we ran out of dark matter bullets. I'm going to now grab an entire stack of all of these bullets. Quick, let's fill up this entire thing with bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Okay, well, clearly, I mean, there's no defenses. I mean, we're not doing enough damage. So I want to have to use drastic times. So this TNT thing over here is doing wonderful, but we can totally make it better. Let's replace all of this over here with obsidian. I'm going to do that all the way across. I'm going to smack them right over here. Let me go over here, over here, like this. Boom, 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 boom. And this is going to be epic, trust me, epic mode. Louie, guess what I have? Looks like girl colors are the best colors ever. Oh, what is this supposed to be, wings? I'm in survival mode, and I'm literally flying right now. Oh, I could do that, too. Who do you think you are? Yep, you have wings, too? Wait, what, Louie? Yes, uh, of course I do. I have red wings, unlike you, because these red wings are way better. I need to try the staff of sleeping on you. Go into survival mode so I can see if I can make you sleep. What is that? I'm kind of scared. Ow! Wait, what's going on? Oh my goodness, I can see you sleeping. Give me that. Give me that. I want to show you if it works. Okay, okay, fine. Take this. Oh, wait. Oh, it's everything's black. What's going on? Oh my goodness, that was so OP. Yep, it's kind of crazy, don't you think? Okay, guys, so now I'm going to make a wall of these dispensers. It's going to be crazy. I'm first going to make them shoot out this way. And then I'm going to do it like a million times upwards. And now all I have to do is just power them all from the inside. And now all I have to do is just fill up this little section and hopefully I'll have a working machine. Red is the best color ever. I'm so happy that I love this color. Okay, let me fix my house real quick. I mean, how am I going to survive the next wave if I haven't got a functioning house? I'm stressing out, guys. I'm stressing out. I'm going to put a bunch of obsidian all at the edge of my house. And then I'm going to explode all of these end crystals whenever anybody gets nearby. Not to mention, if I ever need to jump down from my house, I can jump down onto this pink trampoline at the very back. And now I can test my machine. Go! Yep, I'd say that works pretty well. Okay, there we go, guys. I finally fixed my... Oh, there's a hole on this side. You know, these void scatter arrows are a little bit bad, so I'm just going to replace them all. Now all I have to do is just add some emerald fence on the top. Okay, it's time to move on to my next trap, which is going to be... um. 
Um, what is it gonna be? Oh, yes, I'm gonna get some diamond fans, and this is basically just gonna blow them into the lava. You see this lava? They're gonna get blown into it. So, that's pretty simple. I mean, oh, wait, these aisles are just being shot at my house. What is this supposed to do? Oh, uh, sorry, Jamesy. I'm trying to get them to go further down so they just hit the ground instead. Guys, I, I, I think we're in survival mode now. Oh, no, the fight is gonna start any second now. Guys, you ain't ready. Are you ready to defend ourselves? I'm ready! Oh, my goodness, quick. I, I need to get all the things that I need. Guys, do you see those? Those are mutant skeletons outside! Ah, who blocked my house? Ah. It was probably you, Jamesy. Over here, come to my base, Jamesy. I've got the coolest weapons in town. Uh, okay, Gracie, I'm making my way over, but there's a lot of explosions! Don't worry, Jamesy. I've even got wings. I can fly around to see what dangers we can escape from. Why have you got wigs? I'm being trapped. Help me. Flash all those potions on them. Look, my TNT is killing all of them. It's totally working. Nice work, Jamesy. Gracie, why aren't your arrows dispensing from the dispensers? I don't know what's going on. I'm using the power of potatoes to fight off the mobs. Wait, how can the spiders keep me trapped in there? You're luring them over to my TNT. Oh, my goodness. I'm right in the middle of my TNT trap. Ow! Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Uh, I need to need some help, please. I'm going to need some help, please. Uh, okay, Jamesy. I'm coming. Kill the skeletons now. Ow, ow, ow. No, I died. What? Are you serious? Louie, if Jamesy's dead, we have to blow up the 10,000 times TNT now. Do it. Fly up to the top where I am right now. Uh, Louie. I think that was a little too powerful, Gracie. Well, you know what? It killed all the mobs, and that's what really matters. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and click on the next video on your screen. Bye-bye!